trying something new. I'm multi stream. So let's hope this goes well. It's it's all due to like certain things I'm doing with the channel. But basically I have learned that um VODs hurt my channel. And I shouldn't be uploading VODs to my channel. So I have made a VOD channel for myself and I'll be moving I'll be taking some time and moving some VODs from my main channel over to that channel. So that we do not continue to hurt the main channel. But to help with if people do want to watch, you know, say continue to watch VODs on my channel, I'm going to multi-stream to YouTube. So that um, you guys can still watch my VODs, but for some reason YouTube, even though I have it set to 1080p, um, it will show the live stream on YouTube as 720 I, I don't know. I, I have no idea why. But I am multi-streaming. I will be doing VODs this way from now on. So it, it can, it's, does seem kind of like... Um, to have a VODs channel and a um, live stream for for it. Um, but I suppose the VODs channel, it everything will be in 1080. It, it's just some weird thing, but I will be moving my VODs eventually. But this is a thing now for us, for me. Okay, we are going to do some druid cleanout. Oh, change this. Let's change our stream is about. We will be doing druid cleanout. And um, I guess some. And some. I wonder if I'll even get anyone on YouTube. By the way, I do have my chats separated on a different screen so that I can uh, read both chats. It is actually in the Twitch TOS that I cannot have uh, both Twitch and YouTube chats on the same screen if I'm streaming on Twitch. So I can't can't have those both on the screen so that I can see them. Sadly. I wish I could like tell people um, that I've watched stream that enough they would follow. It's something silly. It's some people say that um, Twitch doesn't enforce it, but at the same time, does that really mean that it's? Not? I don't. Know. I mean, it's the same that goes for like pay for add-ons and Blizzard. Blizzard doesn't really enforce that anymore, but and so then the pay for add-ons just keep coming coming along and going like, hey, pay for me if you want to use it. Uh, all right, enough of that. We're going to do some streaming. Some uh, selling, I guess. Uh, that's sold out. Let's get all this. Oh, that's also sold out. I think I accidentally hit like cleanup one day. Missed all of my stuff up. But uh, I was hoping to get a channel update video out soon to update everyone on what's going on with my channel. Uh, let's, let's have that in our bags so we can trade it in for something. I haven't done next in so long. We can probably do a next run or two.
here's all the bones I got from my recent video. I think that's it. Oh, that's a that's almost a full bag. I did a lot of farming this week. It's a lack of videos. I do apologize about that. All right, all the bones. That is very cheap for bones. Uh, we want to sell them for at least a gold each for ninety-five. So. For that and I did farm a little bit more after the video. So I have like 10k. Let's get all this posted. Um usually I have my see if we can have like uh, real time Is Pierce back? Pierce better not be back. Uh, let's go to a different auction house just in case Pierce is here to kill an auction house. So if you don't know, there are actually three auction houses in Orgrimmar. There's the main one. There's one over here in the Valley of Wisdom. It's a torrent here and there the third one is all the way back here the valley of strength right a oh, valley of honor this is an auction house right here so if someone is in the in orgrimmar killing off auction auctioneers we have Two other choices to go to, and not all alliance know this. That's soulbound. Uh, I don't even know what that's from. And Daria, only of Isle of Thunder. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my mind is empty. Brain is empty still from last stream. It feels like a lot has happened. Oh wow, heavy hides are still over a hundred. I need to go heavy. Uh leather skinning again. Oh, there's also the that that meat farm that's pretty good. Oh, there's so much. There, there's an actual like um classic farm that has uh that's um meat related. It's actually um, I'm not sure how well it goes, how well it goes cell-wise, but for some reason, lion meat from lions in the Southern Barrens is selling for above 15 gold. It's kind of nuts. All oh, right, I was going to trade that in. Um, what the... What? <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Maybe um, selling vegan herbs right now is a good idea. I usually sell mine for about seven to eight. Uh, I don't want to create a new baseline, so let's go along with this baseline. Seriously? Can't un undercut me by that much? Alright, fine. I'll go with your price.
I like selling Dark Iron bo Baby Booties. People will chart, uh, buy those for so much. In fact, um, someone actually uh, reset the price on them not too long ago. They um, bought all of mine out. They were going for 17999 17, each, and they tried reselling them for 37000 so my uh, response to that was go immediately to dark, the Black Rock Depths and start farming. And I got like three after two runs. Why did that? Okay, I must have misclicked. Seventy-nine. Okay. I remember the last time I, I did this and. I accidentally put them up for 35 gold. <laughs> oh my god, I got gutted. <laughs> that was like a punch in the stomach. By the way, I am very close to having three max level druids now on the server. So maybe it'll be like a three way of uh, what have I gathered on this. Who knows? Small eggs are going up. Oh no. I think they know. It's a storm coming. Okay, I think it may have like went with the scalp price on uh essence of undeath. That's fine. I'm I'm a gold farmer against the farm. More. Okay, I need to put that back in my bank and figure out what to do with that. I need to turn this into laystone. I really hate that bug, or it's like, you're inside still. I've not been inside for about five seconds.
trying to remember why the, uh, the Dalaran portal won't this character. I think it's mostly because I still have just regular Moonblade. Moonblade, not Moonblade. I doing here? Oh yes, the bloods. So that means I went right past it. Greetings. It is fortunate I found you. No. Nope. Your presence is requested at moon Leave me alone. Death to the Legion. I, I much prefer Moonblade over Dreamwalk. I put up what my um, other druid has farmed. It's not very much, though. My other druid has farmed a very small amount. It's mostly me testing as I'm leveling up. But they're level 65, so I don't think I'll like sell anything on them until they're next level. That's also it. Also feels like I'm losing on it. Want to buy leveling boost? Um, just leave one. It's just slash leave. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I would prefer to sell this at 10. I miss the days where Playstone was 15 gold. And that was like, what, three weeks ago? Okay, onwards to Metathalus. Mind empty, mind empty, trying to remember what I'm doing. Yeah, bring streamer coming through. I didn't turn these into okay. Let's turn these into primal waters. What? That's so different. <laughs> That can't be real. What? <laughs> you can totally just buy lots of water.
Okay, I just did some flipping in the stream. <laughs> That's nuts. If you guys can ever like see that on the auction house, definitely take advantage of that. I think I like made 100 extra gold per one that I bought, or per 10 I bought. Um, that's a scalp for sure, so let's do this. Out of time, come on. What's the word on the street? I have the primal water already. Hey, it's soul bound. That's not. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, put that. I'll put it up. Now, the reason why I have a stoppable force and why it's selling for 29 gold is not for transmog reasons. Well, it could be, but um, the stoppable force is also to buy a, as you can see there, a pet, Morbos. So it's part of the the, the sell recipe or with the. Uh, Dark Iron and Baby Boots. I think the last one is like a bear carcass or something like that. The, uh... What, what are they called? Are they called like Relic Hunters? I, I don't know. They, they're just kind of weird. Those people are weird. The culture is so different from that of Azeroth. Okay, do we have any primals or modes so we can... Uh, I thought I saw one. Like... No? Oh, my primal water has already been... sold. Or at least some of it has. Okay, let's put all this crap up. I got a trade chat too. You don't need to see all that. Ah, last night these were selling for forty. At least this is better than uh, the normal price of twenty-two. No, I didn't go farming for Dreamleaf. I felt like it was a, a pointless task this week because of the whole uh, Legion materials thing. Too many people are going to do it. Every, every single Legion material is uh, at its lowest price right now. 
may as well learn that. I, I guess I'll learn that. Didn't expect it to be that low. Oh. There's an aquarium that I farmed up during that stream. Always farm up more. Yeah, it's already selling. <laughs> Those are some really low prices. Download this. Are these better as primal? It's so low. It's always been so low. Oh, I had some. Got the best deals anywhere. Three gold. No, it's better as moats. Okay. Always check it. Always check it first before you just turn it into primals. That is sold out. That's also sold out. Let me, let me auction it. Stop buying my stuff for a second. We like learning things. I can just sell this because I'm not an enchanter. This one. That was for a whole gold. Okay, let's get on to the third druid. Secret druid. Well, it's not really a secret. I actually showed it on the stream a couple of days ago. 
almost uh, 70. Wait, where am I? Probably just in Dalaran, right? Or was I farming Dreamwave? <laughs> alone. Okay, uh, where's my What's this right here? So they already turned those in. I think I already turned them in. All right, let's... As you can see, it's still slow it's crap because I haven't gotten the speed set yet. That's that's this is an alliance druid. This this is for the uh the transmog farms that are like hoard. So um I can slay the hoard characters without like oh hello! You've been watching my well content for for years. Um, I haven't been putting out well content for years. That's that's the thing. I um first started putting out well content last year December, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, do you have the right guy? Is this a good time to try the game? Um, my WoW content in general? Hmm. That would mean that you probably have been watching, like, when I put out, like, the, the music videos. But that, that's all just wow. That that's all Blizzard stuff. But um, I think season four might be a good uh, time to come back to wow. But to try the game, I think the best content that you would probably get is probably out of season of discovery. Season of discovery is definitely a, like a new refreshment to wow, and in a much simpler form. Uh, retail WoW is very, um, it can be difficult for some people to uh, get a good grasp on. Meanwhile, um, Season of Discovery has, um, they have some good iterations from retail, but it's, in a, it's from a much more, it's from a much simpler time where things are, um, they're easier. But you can definitely get into the content um ease yourself in. But uh retail wow is mostly just shinier with um a lot more mechanics. If you if you know what what I mean. Here. The lines are crazy. This is the base here. This, this character is new, so I don't have very much to sell on this one. Okay, let's leave. 
trade again. I mostly have this up for my sales. Obsidian ore is 19 gold each. <laughs> There's a lot that I want to just go out and farm. Also, um, Bolt, it also, I guess it depends on what you want to do in the game. There's, there's definitely a lot more to do in uh, retail, but it seems that a lot of people are having a great time in Season of Discovery. I, try, I started out with my return to WoW in Season of Discovery and found out it wasn't for me. Surprisingly. Let's flip this base. Okay, I figured that we are going to farm probably small eggs today, because I've been doing that off stream. I wanted to try the spot that uh, Sandman or the Fire of Sands uh, told me about. And from a video I watched today, I think I have a pretty good idea of where that is now. Also from another good content creator. I don't know if I should say his name on stream. I, there's just been some drama going on, so I, I'm just kind of like iffy on that. Uh, I think Grom Goal is the fastest way there. So we'll go to Grom Goal um, via the Zeppelin because it just arrived. I don't know why I'm getting FPS drops. Stop it. like Zeppelin waiting music. Sounds like an elevator. Ah, uh, maybe. Also, welcome, Dennis. <clears throat> I suppose I could fla fast fly on over.
I really like this attention detail. Those are the doors for the dead mines where the, the boat goes in. Let's see. Where is this? Where is this uh, vulture-ridden carcass? And is it currently being used? It is not. Okay. Let's uh, swap these out. Actually, I think it would be better if not a cat farm. All right. Okay, here's our small egg spot. We could put this up. I have been told this is the best spot but i do like um the spot i like to go to is uh eversong forest for eggs it has been my favorite spot since like brain say since uh the old spots in vanilla were terrible like i would actually attempt to get uh small eggs from swoops in mulgore and that was, uh, that was the worst. Don't I want to jump? I've been on the hype train for Dream Leaf. I have two videos on it. <laughs> I, uh, um, I'm not on it right now because the whole, um, because of last week, last week's um, Legion material claim from the uh, the time walking prices are gonna be down for a while from that, so I may as well just uh, farm up small eggs for some holiday events that are coming up. In fact, I think small eggs are up in price. They used to be four gold each, and now they're about five, moving on to six. So if you don't know the recipes that to make with small eggs, you can just definitely uh, sell the small eggs. I think... Hmm. I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was going to say. But, uh, let's see. Oh, you're you're talking about let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's about that. Oh, the dream leaf. The dream leaf. Um Dream Leaf is really really cheap. I know that. Jeez. <laughs> so cheap. I mean, this is definitely a lazy method. I like it. I, I think I still prefer um, Silver uh, Eversong uh, Forest. 
Because doesn't this place like bug out after a while? I also have a video on how to farm um, Laystone, but Laystone is also down in price, so maybe not. Sick of Irving and Velshara. Um. Uh, the older transmog and ZG and Dire Mall are still available. You can actually buy recipes. In, well, not buy. Um, you can farm old recipes in Zulguru now if you do the the event. Uh, not the event. It's like you have to do something in there. I was going to make a video on it, but there are definitely videos on how to unlock that version of Zulguru. And Dire Mall, there is a way to unlock some recipes uh, if you do the not Thimblejack caches. But it's like, it's only about four or five, maybe six recipes. Like three are kind of common and um, another one is, or another two are really super rare. And they're worth about either 50k to 150k. Like, I think one of them is the Chromatic Cloak. I think that's what one one's called. But I know if you unlock that, um, that reset, that that soul guru, but you can get um, old recipes off of bosses. It's a, like a super low chance, but it can happen. So you can go on, go into soul guru on multiple different characters and uh, try and get these recipes. But what this also unlocks is if you have skinning, you can go into soul guru and skin the primal bats for primal bat leather, because that's back. And the primal tiger leather, that's also back. Another big time um, reagent from Zulguru is, uh, what is it? Is it Powerful Mojo? It's some something really, it's one of the bigger mojos. It's selling for, I think, around 80 gold last time I checked. It might be over 100. But it's, it's one of the big mojos. And you have to um, get them, they drop off the trolls in there. In fact, that's like really close by. I don't know why I have Bray's unlocked. It's gonna like drive up the price on here. I should have been uh, worth it. Worth it would have been tracking like the eggs. Here, let's actually swap over to all worth it. Uh, order. Move on. Yes. I'm gonna do small egg. Hey there, Sandman. All right, I'm okay. I just a little disclaimer. I'm um, streaming on both YouTube and Twitch right now, so I'm looking at two different chats right now. I know there's a way to combine the chats, but um, and also put them on screen. But um, as I said at the beginning of the stream, the there is actually a Twitch um, term of service that says you cannot have both. You cannot put um, another chat on the screen for some reason, even though you're allowed to multi-stream, because they really want you to focus on Twitch. But um, a lot of people who on Reddit, it's like people were saying Twitch doesn't enforce it, so you can do it. 
and it's like, even if they don't enforce it, it doesn't mean that you won't get punished for it eventually. So I'm at the spot that you suggested, uh, Sandman. I, I also, um, right now I'm a small streamer, um, so it probably ain't even worth looking at you. Um, I suppose, yeah. I am much smaller than some, but I'm bigger than others. Even though I'm actually, I remember the days when I was like, I was streaming to no one. <laughs> I know I actually have people. It's, it's very comforting, but at the same time, I I don't miss uh, the struggles of being a super small streamer. Oh, I'm just moving around and looting because, um, I think they do, like, stop, like, spawning if you don't loot. And when you, immediately after you loot, they start spawning again. So. It's just a small fear of mine, but I, I'll just do this. Sure. I also felt like moving around was a little bit more entertaining. But here we go. Let's just do this. <laughs> This is how lazy this is. I have the the macro for it. See, they're not spawning. And one, once I loot this... Um, yeah. So, um, this is kind of why I like Silver Moon or uh, Eversong a little bit more. Because it doesn't it doesn't bug out. It, I'm always moving with that. So I'm gonna find like vultures around here and hopefully they'll just, like come back for the carcass. Um, okay. I'm gonna switch back to my mouse over. All the things, you're so confusing. Oh wait, we should check for this guy. There's like a rare in here that drops a shovel transmog. It's, I think, big money. Big old money. Uh, I don't see him. Okay. I. I'm gonna go up shore a little bit and farm some vultures and then I'll come back. What is happening? <laughs>
All the things is so confusing now. <laughs> is it every time I discover a new area? Because that's going to be annoying as shit. <laughs> Because I've discovered all of this back in vanilla. I don't need to discover it again. <laughs> and be reminded that it ex exists again. I don't need this all the things. Here's the carcass. Let's see if there's a bird near, near it. And we can switch back to the target macro. Okay, there's a bird near it. Okay, good. We're back. I think. <laughs> there it is. here for let's be here for 30 minutes I suppose that's a good amount of eggs Okay, yeah, I'm starting to suspect that Eversong is just the best place. <laughs> and since, uh, by your reaction, Sandman, I'm going to guess that this is probably a new thing where um, it bugs out. So maybe Blizzard, this is Blizzard's way of saying, hey, uh, you can't overfarm me. Either that or it is actually just truly a bug. Or just bad luck for me. I mean I've been I've had such good luck recently with drops that I, I wouldn't mind. It's like every week I get a um a big ticket item. Last week was the the copper cloth gloves for 750k. And I haven't gotten my big my big drop this week yet, but eventually it'll come. It will arrive and I'll be like, oh my god, another one? Oh boy. The thing with those drops is they just take a slot up in your bank. Because you know it's gonna take a while for 
for it to sell because not very many people have that much money. Nor are they going to be willing to spend that much money on a pair of gloves. I wish that the font on here wasn't so small. Even I have a little bit of a hard time reading this. Oh, let's switch back to the mouse over macro. It is the discoveries, isn't it? Yeah. That's a very weird way of flying. I didn't get the vest. Yeah, let's head back. There it is. Okay. The birds are back. Or at least one bird is. Switch back to the target macro. I was wondering the target macro. Looks like. I'm still wondering where the heck I put it. I have no idea what what. Is. A lot of these are just, uh, silvers. That's something else. Oh, of course, it looks like Moonfire. That's why. Clear target, target, or tar, greater flesh ripper, and then cast Moonfire. All one word. And it'll automatically just target any uh, greater flesh rippers are up and cast Moonfire on them. The reason why I have to clear target is otherwise it will target dead ones <laughs> and stay on the dead ones. So it's like sticky targeting. And you don't want that. You want it to target living ones. It's, it looks like this this place can be rough. Doesn't go smoothly for all streamers either. Oh. Oh, they're low level. They might be out here questing. I'm also a very kind soul, so if someone wants to take this spot, they can definitely come over here and ask. I will likely just go back and go over to their song. Or try a different uh, small egg farm.
By the way, I am streaming on uh, YouTube, if you guys prefer it. And YouTube has no, uh, made of the, middle of the, um, session ads. So you can actually have YouTube open at the same time as Twitch, if you prefer, like, watch it in Twitch. But if you get inter interrupted by ads, you can still hear me at very least. That's what I do sometimes if some of the multi streams. Of course, I said that during ad break on Twitch, so most of my viewers didn't get it. <laughs> oh no, it's broken again. Okay. Onward's next um, bird. Next bird I see is a uh, fried chicken, fried vulture. I wasn't even near that. There was a stream, by the way, where I farmed out the uh, all the null spots that are supposedly big from here. Like uh let's see my one. This knoll is supposed to drop the River Paul leather vest. I remember farming that one up. Sadly the knoll stuff has been farmed to heck. <laughs> there it's no longer worth like thousands upon thousands of gold. I think it's about worth a thousand or less by now. I do know that one of them drops like an axe. It's worth, or it was worth, uh, 150k. But, like the other, the rest of the null stuff, it's probably been farmed to heck. I like how the bird just continues on like it was nothing. The AI does not know how to react to that. I don't think it's in program to know how to react to that. What's over here? There has to be something. One of these gnolls has to like drop a nice uh, zone drop. Oh, it looks like these are too low level. Majority of my gold farms from Transbox. I think I I tried to even it out from about half and half, but I really want to find like um, hidden or secret or um, long forgotten Transbox farms from just farming out, um, going to a, a like a questing camp from long ago, and then just farming there for a while and then seeing what drops there. 
and then seeing if it's a place worth like farming for other people. Like I know that pe there are some people out there looking for certain sets, and there are just not enough people out in the out uh, out and about in the really super old world and actually looking for um, these sets. There. Are, Sure, there will be people out there that are questing, but I don't think that most the majority of them want to go out there, quest, and put things up on the auction house because it's it's super old world, and if they're new players, they they don't know what to do with the transmog. But um, I really like the excitement of getting like the big numbers show up on screen and be like, wow, that transmog it must be amazing. But it looks, I I I played in vanilla. It looks like a, a vanilla piece. I don't. I, I don't know what's uh, rare about it, uh, other than, hey, I've seen that before back in Vin But otherwise, I do do a lot of free agents. Like, I'm doing small eggs right now. They aren't worth a lot right now, but they might be in the future. <laughs> um, like, especially around Christmas, and especially in a couple of weeks. So I have uh, about 154 right now. It's not not worth it. too big of an amount. Oh yeah, I have I, I a week ago I farmed out the uh, delicious chocolate cake recipe. I got it on my fifth character of doing the the cooking daily. I was like. That the auction house is running out of these warp burgers. I don't know <laughs> if I can keep going. <laughs> and then my fifth character finally got it, and I had to level up. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't have to level up cooking. I just had to get the ingredients together and just start making. And then I decided to go into researching how to get the tasty cupcake recipe. And apparently, that one can be a pain, but. Let me show you guys what I've discovered in the comments. Uh, the comments say to kill every single mob in Heroic and Normal uh, Old Kingdom, or farm the the raiders the, um, in Kasana. I, I forget what it's called. You know the the place where it spawns shiploads of Kalvaldir raiders. Oh, you have it. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> I have to farm for it. <laughs> All right, let's switch back to the target macro. My last stream, the fun is on Twitch though. Um, I did a lot of Outland um, region farming. I did some transmog farming last night too, but um, it was mostly because all the things was hey saying hey these demons drop these these items, and that's what when you guys first saw my um, my first search on what's it called the Undermine Exchange when I was looking up uh, a depleted item. Like, um, the depleted head cape. Was it not the cape? Was it a cloak? It was the depleted cloak can drop from these demons. It's supposedly on my server, it's going for 1.5 million. So, these depleted transmog items are selling for big bunnies on my server, and I'm like, Okay, I'll farm these demons for a while. Why not? I used to be a huge gold farmer uh, from Breath of the Lich King to Pandaria, and I came back at the end of Season 2 of Dragonflight. Nice. 
I recently became a gold farmer, although, um, I think before I became a gold farmer, like, content creator, I farmed out mostly Arcane Crystals, Corium, and, uh, Sungrass for my World of Warcraft token every month. And then it was like, this is getting boring. I need more farms. And then I was like, maybe to compel myself to um, learn more farms, I'll become a gold farmer content creator. I can, um, because I also know a friend who he is a content creator for this kind of thing, but he's currently not in the loop. And he's like taking a vacation, I think. I, I hope. I, I hope he comes back to it, but um, he hasn't really been around. I was actually one of the pioneers of the tiny chest. Oh, that's nice. I think back in Cataclysm, I was mostly, um, I was trying to get the, the Vial of the Sands. I tried for like five months straight and I could not get it. Have a fun stream. I gotta get back to work. All right. I'll see you later or tomorrow. How do you set up a loot appraiser? You have to, you have to have, um, I believe, you have to have TSM to get the information from. So for TSM, let's see, because you're going off of the prices that were of where it's pulling from. So to set up a loot appraiser, you have to set up TSM, and TSM requires a bunch of stuff where you have to set up um, the the app helper and the app helper, let's see. Like, here's part of the app right here. I, I have, for, for some reason, it wants to track all the hardcore realms for me. It's tracking season discovery, it's tracking my main server, uh, a server I used to be on, my other main server, the Chondrius and Norma support. I, I have a, a couple of alliance in Norma support, but these are the servers I have tracking what prices I want to see. And then, um, and you do that on the TSM website. So you basically d download um, the TSM add-on. I believe from, uh, just, you can download it from their website. You can download it from uh, Curse Forge. I, I've never used WowUp, but probably on WowUp as well. And you'll get both of these. This is the main program. This is this. And then the app helper is what draws all the information to TSM. And then um, once you've done that, then you can set up a uh, loot appraiser. And how you can do that, um, minimum buyout is just pulling from your server. And then if you want to track what's on the, on the region, you can go to region market average. I think it's set on market value by default. And then from here, I can set if I wanted to track rays on up or commons on up or yeah. And then set what the threshold of, of what um, it wants to ping me for. Okay, 100 gold. And that's how I, I think that's about as much as I know on how to set up Blue Appraiser. I hope that was helpful. My cat, I was so rich, I just bought it. Um, I never ended up farming the recipe. Um, oh, the, the Vial of the Sands, I assume. It was? Okay. You're very welcome, then. Was super rare, kind of like the, the Lariat right now. I think someone told me that you can get the Lariat from the... It's from like a, like 
go into the past and then you do this um this chest like you have to defend it from a bunch of uh, several waves of elementals and it's a chance to get it. it's a it's a it's a low chance to get it but you can definitely get it from that chest and i never knew that i wish i did <laughs> because um i actually have a that's the ring mm -hmm. I thought for sure, um, Wowhead said Valeria could drop in there. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Because how I tried to farm for it was I wanted, I, um, went to like an elemental storm and I just farmed stuff on a I'm a jewel crafter because I thought in my mind that it would drop more often for jewel crafters. Only a... That's super low. <laughs> that is insanely low. But um, the problem with that is my jewel crafter is a resto shaman. Gear than resto gear. You're thinking that, and you're still thinking that. That's why it sells for 2.5. On Tychondrius, it sold for less for some time. It sold for about 300k, like near the start. The thing is, I wasn't a gold farmer then. Oh, hey, Misty. This is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, it's saying from this this guy right here, a rare elite. It's a it's a bit better than the chance you were talking about. But then again, it's Wowhead. Um, ever since getting this Wowhead add-on, um, I've been more like wary of the percentages on Wowhead, like this Wowhead add-on right here. Only people who have this add-on are the ones tracking for the website. And it's a very low percentage of people who actually have this add-on and tracking and giving the uh, information to the website of whether or not something drops. So the the percentages on Wowhead aren't accurate at all, <laughs> honestly. It never sells uh, for lower than a mil. You watch the Undermine Exchange. Let's see. So I, I pretty much just mainly got this because I wanted to help out Wowhead because um, I got this back when I did my spider silk video, and when I was doing farming for the spider silk video, I got um, like six of those hollow pang blades, and it's not as rare as um, Wowhead back then said it was. They said it was a zero percent drop rate. But people got like 11 of them total the entire time that they've been out. So I was like, that's not true. I have six of them right now. <laughs> so yeah, I so I was like, okay, I'm gonna help out Wowhead. I'm gonna download their add-on and I'm gonna upload to them my values because I do a lot of loot. I I go around, I loot, and I hope that I get some really rare transmogs. I hope I get some nice um reagents the only thing is is i hate dragonfly i don't really like it i hate the story i um i'm going to get super burnt out if i do dragonfly content so i stick to what i love which is what i grew up with what i fell in love with in the first place and that is the earlier versions of wow so if you see me in the earlier versions of wow rather than dragonfly that's the main reason why. And sorry for being so uh, chatty and long-winded. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. No, the Larry on some servers can't eat. <laughs> okay, so I've been talking about when before I like quit like Dragon's Light the first time. Um, I I never played like season two, so I came back for season of discovery, season of discovery, and then um, I haven't really checked on Delir yet because I haven't really been focused on like season three or any of that. So I haven't. I ran out of birds again. Hello. Okay. Just another leveler. Oh, welcome, Peak France. I have uh, quite a few more people here because I am multi streaming. I have. I have people on YouTube I'm talking to. Oh, you're also here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. You're everywhere. <clears throat> You're also using Kaylee's emote, which is super cute. Adorable. Okay. All right. I'm not. Okay, let's switch back to mouse over. Yeah, I, I'm just um, all over the place right now. There we go. Well, I just came back and have been always wondering about transmogs. I've been doing uh, commodities from Dragonflight and currently making about a million per month. That's pretty darn good. <clears throat> just, seeing, just looking for more market. Um, for looking for more markets, I would suggest getting the add-on worth it. This will give you, like, um, more farm suggestions. Like, this will give you, for the markets worth, what is the best, like, mining farm, the best urban farm for the moment, and it will go off of TSM prices. Like, right now, for urban, Saromas is probably the best farm right and then Sungrass in these regions. Um, and then for skinning or fishing, skinning, cloth. Cloth is never going to be too good. Sumptuous fur, I guess. But I don't know what the Sumptuous fur... What is this Sumptuous fur uh, at, um, farm in Shadow Moon? I always went to like Spires of Iraq and just farmed um, Saberon. The best uh, let's see, skinning farm right now is wind scales. Turtle scales. Really? I never did turtle scales. I could try that. Fishing, if you have the patience. Moonglow cuttlefish from Boreen Tundra. And then this also does uh this also has transmog farms. It claims the dead mines is the best, but I, I digress. I prefer uh Direct Theron. Direct Theron's pretty good because of the unique uh troll transmogs. Another good place is almost any Rain or instance is pretty good. Except for don't do Shadow Moon um burial grounds or people would suggest doing iron uh docks, but I feel like iron docks has been over farmed and the drops aren't as good in there. Akindun was good. Akindun has a lot of RP, which is why I'm pretty sure why people do not do it. But Akindun was really good to me. Um, I think Blood Mall Slag Mines is decent. Uh, Skyreach might be okay. But that's only if you like Draenor. Um... A decent place for vanilla, I think, would be almost any of them.
I'm also wasting time. <laughs> I haven't been collecting a lot of eggs. I have 200. But um, if you have uh, questions, keep them coming. Um, from what I could tell when I was looking up videos, people keep saying, do Zul Zulfar act to fill out your, uh, your auction house. And Zulfar is all right. Sure. But if you, I don't, I like to treat um, dungeons as like a resource. Because you only get 10 per hour. That's why I prefer like open world farms. So if you want a decently good um, open world farm for Transmog, I would suggest... I think I have it on here. Uh, my farms. Where is it? If you're Alliance, do Stonetown Mountains. There are two locations you can do in Stonetown Mountains that give fantastic gear drops. Like, really, really good uh, gear drops. Like, the Sentinel set is, um, they're like 5,000 plus, up to about maybe 40k. Yeah, I'm just farming small eggs right now. It's... It's fine. <laughs> I'm farming small eggs for my own stock. I, I could do something else that people want. But if you want me to go to um, probably Stonetown and farm there for about 30 minutes to an hour, I can show off that farm. Um, for some reason, the spot is supposed to be like a four spawn spot. And you don't have to move anywhere. But I do prefer Silver Moon because this does like tend to bug out and stop. But yeah, that's my usual spot is a uh, Eversong Forest. Well, streaming on uh, both is pretty good. Possibly expand your audience um, since YouTube streaming is getting pretty big as well. Twitch and YouTube are the only places to really stream. I do have an account on Kick, but I'm kind of iffy streaming on Kick. That's where you used to be, uh, where you usually go. It's really fast. Yeah, I have a another druid that I go there on. Hello, um, Azra. <laughs> Good to know, though. Yeah. I did watch a video today on uh, different spots. Like, there's a place in, I think, La Codan. It looked okay. But the old place for um, Horde was, uh, I think, Bulgor and Swoops, and they didn't always drop eggs. And also, Swoops are... They are kind of everywhere. They not they're not in a close proximity of each other, like the dragon hawks in uh, Eversong. Yeah. I mentioned small eggs on Horde side where um, they had they had to go for big money <laughs> because of how uh, spread out swoops were. Yeah, I played uh, since two thousand six, so I know I know the feeling.
Okay, and this is where it bugs out. So... My recommendation is uh, Eversong, as always. <laughs> Let's actually uh, stop the small egg farm. Stop it. I'll save it. In fact, I'll, I'll change it to 46 minutes so I don't confuse it with a, an hour's time. And also... No, we don't have to put Westfall because the location is Westfall. Oh yeah, that the the prices in Drake Play are incredibly inflated. Oh, they'll increase when season four comes out in a couple in a couple months because uh food. I know the Isle and Dorado, um the the raid food um definitely takes that. And it'll go back up in price. Because I remember when I made my um, my top five of my favorite like laziest farms video, they um, highlighted fishing. Island Fit Dorados were going for 95 gold each back then. It was super great, but now they're going for about five gold, <laughs> five to ten gold right now. It's uh, oh jeez, still five. Okay. What did you guys want me to do here? Was it Gurubashi or... Oh, there, you guys are talking transmog as well. So, do you want me to try and get like some recipes in, in like, um, Zulgurub? Or should I do... Or should I show off two farms in Stone Town that are pretty good transmog farms? Because I'm doing a series, um, I, I just started it. I have a Is It Worth It series, and I showed off two farms there. One is Isle of Giants, which I released today, and I also released my favorite um, Slutmog farm, which is the nor Northern Barrens. It drops a lot of loincloth here. It drops like the uh, kind of slutty, I guess, straps, chest pieces, and crap like that. It's um, it's pretty good. I go there every so often. I'll do I'll do a Zolguru run. Okay, what's the excuse here? Can't be running normal? Okay. So when you unlock the the old Zul group, you'll get this guy in here and he'll allow you to buy some recipes. For I think bee juice, yeah. The bargaining tokens are back. Bijus. Uh, how many pages are there? There are three pages of... Wait, why would you want to buy that? It's a gray. Okay. I... No. I remember that symbol. I have that on my priest. That used to be a trinket. Yeah. Oh, I can buy some recipes from this guy and then sell the, uh, the BOEs on the auction house. So let's actually open. I suppose I could do like a recorder for this. I might not save it, though. Let's 
switched us back to my mouse over. Okay, let's see what we, get, what we got in that. Some volatile air, uh, Twilight Jasmine, and volatile light. Now I'm on my Skinner, so I'll get my chance for a primal bat leather. Looks like I didn't get it. Oh wait, I did. I got one for 78 gold. Oh, hey, Cali Bear. Wait, three month sub anniversary? So soon? Has it really been that long? No, no, you can push the button. You may push the button, it's fine. It gives me anxiety. How would it give you anxiety? <laughs> it's I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm pretty sure people can actually pay to like make those noises now because I put them in the sound alerts thing. Um, so it's trying to give me more anxiety. <laughs> oh, I should clear my bags here. Hold on, let me get on my cheek mount. I don't care about Grays too much. But I did, I think. No, I put it on cheap. Never mind. I put, oh yeah, on like 25 bits. So if people want me to cringe out, they can definitely force me, force. A recorded version of me to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's massive mojo. That's worth 238 gold. And that's only from killing trolls in here. It has a really low drop chance, so don't think that... I'm just really lucky, guys. I, I, I promise. I'm not making this up. It's actually a really low drop chance. Sure. <laughs> sure. No, it wasn't, but that I am cringing. <laughs> see. Thank you for the sub, by the way. Thank you for the three months of support. That's that is so um That's so kind of you. Thank you. Okay, so let's, um, I'm not going to be farming the instance, so let's try and go for recipes by killing the bosses. Make peace worms. I'd be delivering you to Haka myself. Nope. No recipe. That's not a good place for that, is it? Let's try and... I'll just put it right there. Uh... You're a troll somewhere. Oh. Okay. 
streamer's luck, as you say. I don't know. I don't know if I could call that streamer luck. My streamer luck is like bigger than. Like I've gotten a um, 0.01% chance um, clock hood that only drops from one kind of mob in Desolus. And I, I had just, after after looting this item, I turned on loot appraisal. So I didn't know it was rare until I looked at the items. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, why is this worth 600k? <laughs> and I just face palm. <laughs> because <laughs> after looting that item, I just turned on loot appraisal. I think I was explaining to someone how to use uh, mouse over macros. So that was that was a long time ago now. So again, I'm slaying these trolls. They're all civilians. Um, Yes, I, I'm I'm that evil. I want their massive mojo. There is a place where they're fishing down below, not there. I'll just continue on. Oh yeah, you could skin Morgan and Shadowfang, you could skin Morgan in uh Duskwood. Oh, I got these. You could skin I think one time I wanted to skin like Sanitar because you know you could skin Morgan, so why not? Let's hope for some primal tiger leather. <laughs> That's kind of evil. You can't, but you would <laughs> get upset. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. Let's see. How much is Primal Tiger Leather? Um, it is selling for 140 each? What? Okay. Let, let, let me shed some light why I'm so surprised. Um, a week or two weeks ago, Primal Bat and Primal Tiger Leather used to be worth about 40 gold each. It's gone up. <laughs> it's gone up significantly for the Primal Tiger. But the primal bat is kind of low. I mean, in comparison, I should say. That's a mojo. I'm getting rich off of their mojo. Oh wait, did I just skip out on a boss back here? Or... Oh, it's a cache. Never mind. I don't think I've ever done that cache thing. Um, I have to like kill a cook in here and he'll drop some cooking supplies I think there we go what do we get from that 
Up in flesh times 19. <laughs> See if we can get a recipe from this one. So I'm gonna get all these guys here. See if we can get a recipe. Let's see. That's the only thing I hate about worth it is it slows down your looting. It actually uh legs. No recipe. I do have multiple characters, so I could farm the crap out of these. I'm gonna go kill Zanzil, so you can hang on tight. Yeah, hold on tight for bit. Yes. Okay. There's one more guy I can get. He's like on a bridge. Yeah, I'll have like fish I can get. Deep sea uh, sage fish. More massive mojo. Um. And for unlocking old little groove, I think you have to go around. I think you have to do this first thing, but there'll be like, like one of these gongs. There'll be like something on the ground that you have to touch, and then you have to speed run um, the bosses, and then kill the last boss, and then go and touch it again, I think. But there's, an, there's gonna be something else in the room that you touch. And then um, pick it up. I don't remember how it went. Oh gosh, I've sold so many of these capes. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I have like at least three. I think I only, I only need one. I just have to wait. Oh, 
I didn't have the chain selected. Oh shoot, I, I accidentally did the AoE. Alright, I'll do this. Okay, I'll have the chain selected this time. Slam me. Oh, wrong one. Oh well. Uh, no risk. Sadly, but if you kill bosses in here while well, having having unlocked the old Zulgur, yeah. Once you collect the item after doing the time limited thing, you have to take it to a guy. Or, I think it's for both Horde and Alliance, you have to take it to the same guy who's in Zuldazar. Bal Balfour Azeroth Zuldazar in the Troll City. And you have to talk it to a troll in Zuldazar, and um, they'll be like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll come over to Zulgurub and then trade you stuff. Some prime, prime bats, that other right there. Like that. Okay, we got how much primal bat leather? Here's our tiger leather and our bat leather. What does that look like? Yeah. So you could actually, instead of killing bosses, you can just come in here and just skin the cats and the the bats. Kill trolls for powerful mojos. Or not powerful. Powerful is uh, not as much. Uh, massive mojos. And uh, you'll make a big profits. And these are all reagents. Reagents sell really fast. Meanwhile, transmog um, transmog's pretty iffy. It depends on what people are looking for that day. Or whether or not people think that they can uh, resell your goods for more. And they'll just buy your stuff and resell it for um, five times more and think that they're gonna make big bucks. It says I can trade in something here. It's probably the bee juice. Yeah, or coins. Bargaining chip. Alright. I've never done that before, so I don't know what the bargaining chips are for. But um, I'll eventually figure it out and um, probably do like some sort of opening on stream for that. But I got a lot of black boxes from this. And just from Zulgarub, we got about 4k from Lana, which isn't bad. It does count the transmogs, but for the most part, most of it is trans uh, reagents, commodities. <laughs> How much is Elementium ore? It's up there. I think it said Obsidium was about 19 gold each earlier, and my favorite place to farm is Obsidian's Hygel. In, like in this area right here. I suppose if I wanted to show off a good transmog farm, I'll show off the Stonetown Mountain farms. 
like one's really super spread out and one is um it's kind of close together and i kind of recently found it and drove me to make this druid this alliance druid so here's my alliance druid still a baby not quite grown up yet Like there were two roots of swords right there for a second this is how much she's sold so far i i'm putting her up there with the, the others but i don't think uh she's gonna be able to compete with the others okay so stone talon um i think i go to hydro the most gold per hour i could get out of my 10 instances uh, raw gold or age stuff. I would say that raw gold is just simply better because Transmog doesn't have the guarantee to sell. There's also auction house, um, the auction house fines, and then there are undercutters that also just put a hamper on your sales. So my, and everyone here knows, or everyone should here should know that my favorite raw gold farm is freehold freehold on normal you sell all of the all of the gear and you, it's a guaranteed 10k per hour it may sound not like not very much but it's more than just it's more than dream leaf surprisingly if you do 10 runs of dream leaf that's guaranteed 800 plus dream leaf and dream leaf is selling really really low recently but even more so recently um, because of the, the Legion Treatance, but, um, yeah. But, um, if you sell 800 Dreamleaf for 8 gold each, which is the normal price for Dreamleaf, you're still getting about 10, 8k for your 10 runs. But if you do Freehold, Freehold's a guaranteed 10k per hour, if you do my method. It, it's even more... If you save a, a gray item called the Riding Wood Porter Staff, the reason why that that staff actually sells is because it's a main hand staff. It's a one handed staff, <laughs> one handed, <laughs> and you can holster it on your hip. The, the entire staff goes on your hip, and that's why it actually sells for more. I think I sold one for fifteen k. Let's check this ledger. Rotting wood. Uh, I sold one recently for almost 2k. Oh, that's not it. Um, where's... Where do I go to... Is it revenue? Revenue... Oh. Okay, it was lag in here. Riding wood quarter staff in the last 60 days. Oh dear. It may have been more than 60 days ago then. Uh, all time. Yeah, I actually sold one for 14k. 76 days ago. It is a main hand staff that you can equip on your hip. But, uh, best, um,. And then um, you sell that on the auction house, but uh, otherwise, 10k guaranteed 10k per hour if you sell all the items uh, to a vendor. I heard that you can actually get more if you actually scrap the items and then sell the materials from them, because you do get a chance of getting from some weapons, and some armor, the the ores. The ores actually sell pretty well because I'm worth it. Or that sell that says uh, let's go. 
you see that Storm Silver Ore and Platinum, yeah, Platinum Ore, they are both 11k per hour farms. So Storm Silver is selling for 11 gold per uh, right now, and Platinum's dirt cheap. <laughs> pretty, pretty cheap, but it also says what you're gonna farm on that. So you're also gonna get a lot of Storm Silver, a lot of moon Moonlight. That's a lot of elementing, it's not like that. And the Storm Silver far farm has a hundred on lit and um, 456 um, Storm Silver. So yeah, these farms are decent. But um, you might be able to scrap some of those ores out of it and it'll, increase, it'll boost their prices a little bit more because well, you don't want you want to sell the weapons and not um, scrap them because they're worth about 30, 40, 30 to forty gold each, and that really boosts your gold sales or gold gold amounts from the raw gold farm. And if you follow my uh, second video, don't kill the bosses, only kill the last boss because the the first two bosses actually make uh, mobs either completely vanish or turn friendly to you. And the less mobs you kill, the less gold you get from the raw gold farm. So you don't want to do that. You want to only kill the last boss. And on normal, because for some reason normal in BFA drops higher item level than heroic and mythic. I don't understand it either, but it's that's how it is right now. Yeah, I know there's a trick to do more than 10 instances per, per hour, but it, to me, as an older player, that feels like an exploit. And I am not fond of possibly getting my, um, my account, like, banned over an exploit, and I don't want to, like, urge other people to do it in case it truly is an exploit. But um, if it doesn't feel like an exploit to you and you've been doing it for ages and you haven't gotten caught or it's not an exploit, I go right ahead and do it. I'm I'm not gonna like show it off. I know I know what it is and how it works, but I'm not I'm not too fond of imagining that that is because um, it is in the Blizzard rules that it is ten instances per hour and it doesn't change if you. Um, switch characters, as they say. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. It seems fine to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm just iffy on it. Because what they considered an exploit back then, that back, like, in Burning Crusade, and it was a bannable offense, was an Affliction Warlock going into, I think it was either Underbog or Slave Pens, and they exploit was they would like jump onto a rock that would make the mobs like take another like path around to try and get them and they would jump off the rock and then they would take this long ass path back around to try and get them and <laughs> yeah i know this is new but um, i'm just explaining what blizzard back then thought an exploit that what a bannable offense exploit was compared to what is now and i that just to me, sound seems like an exploit that could be bannable. But I don't. I don't truly know. I, I still treat um, I still treat instances as if it was newer times, new employees the thing it feels like a lot of people are more sensitive these days <laughs> like um do blizzard employees not care or do they really care i know that all of old blizzard is gone basically Eh, 
That's true. No, I know. I can see how many viewers I have on Twitch. I just can't see it. <laughs> Do I want to know? I probably don't want. To. I I think the the thing that I need to know is uh the thing that I need to know is that um I'm just interacting with you guys and I'm answering as much as I can. From my own experience, which can sometimes just not be enough. Can I turn that off? All the things? I think that was a recent all the things update that I got. Okay, it didn't do it that time. Blizzard only bans people for things or fixes things that deals with the current content, specifically things that harm other players in some way. Hmm. You know, that is... That is very true. So, like, your example was an exploit of AI path finding in... That wasn't current content. That was back in Burning Crusade. That was many, many years ago. <laughs> that was nearly 20 years ago. Uh, yeah. That was like 2007, 2000. Okay, I don't have a speed set on this thing. So here is a spot that is okay. It's pretty decent for transmog. Do I even have a mouse over on this character? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So if something like that existed now, and uh, not only would they not care, if they got caught doing it, it would let you pass with flying colors. Yeah, I meant during the time, unless I got my dungeons mixed up. Yeah. Um, yeah, back then it was, um, I believe it was under Bog. The Warlock was showing off on the forums that, hey, I can solo heroic <laughs> under Bog. And no one, no one at the time could solo it. Like, he was clearly showing an exploit, and uh, he was banned shortly after. <laughs> Only exploit I've heard of is the one uh, that Guild used to skip the Cthulhu fight without going through the rest of the raid. And that was a video I saw talking about it years ago. Okay. Let's try this farm for a little bit, and then we'll move on to the better one. Same area. I hope I have... Do I have bag space? I have plenty of bag space. Alright. Uh, we'll just name this... Not Grim. 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 Grim Totem. stream, I guess. Sure. It's a long ass name, but let's let's do it.
since it was only done by modified texture te texture file, uh, if I remember. Let's see. Yeah, why is it not? Okay, so we already got something. We got a wicked chain piece. Wicked chain is pretty good. It's over a thousand. Let's also turn on blue appraiser so that it draws us attention to anything above 100. Actually, let's change that. Let's put on my uh, my my server value. Let's put it at. Anything above 500, they'll notify us. Okay. somehow. <laughs> You're messing around in Dark Moon Fair right now and having fun? Nice. I haven't really messed around with the new Dark Moon Fair. I just remember how it was when it was like out in the world. Oh, we just got 22,000 gold bracers. <laughs> They're only selling for 13,000 on my server. But it seems the average is, um... Oh wait. No, that's... Okay. On my server, they're 22,000. On here, this is like the market average, I think. It's only 13,000. I don't understand why bracers sell for so much. They, they like, don't really cover very much. <laughs> And they aren't always visible because of gloves or chest piece uh, sleeves. Why is my trinket procking so much? I wish we did this like in dungeons. If you have the tireless to pursue talent, you can go faster with the uh, power shifting. Um, oh, I know what talent you're talking about. You're talking about... This one right here. Yeah, I was planning on uh, going into that soon. 
because this is still a level 65 character. I was just focusing more on damage because I wanted to like keep up with everyone in uh, the dungeons before, because I wasn't playing on gold farming on this druid just yet. I was hoping to get um, max level and gain some speed pieces before then. Good suggestion. I, I like that. Thank you. Why is this guy hiding back here? Because you can't uh, power shift like uh, you used to. I use the uh, abilities like Tiger's Fury, Stealth, Sprint, get back in form. How much is 10 going for these days? Oh, okay. It's 10 is not worth it in my book, but um, I can see how some newer players might actually farm it. I didn't, I haven't like seriously played Druid since Legion. But even in Legion, I kind of lightly played it. The only reason why I played a lot, of, a lot more Druid, Druid in Legion than I would have otherwise is because whenever I played my alt, um, I got super, super lucky with the legendaries. I got two of the best legendaries for both Feral and Guardian all within like two weeks. <laughs> so it really made it be, me be like, all right, I'll play this. Oh, gotta be here. Every once in a while, this uh, horde attack party will come in to attack these guys. It's just more loot tables. But um, if if you don't see them, uh, and they come in and they attack the guys here, the guys that are already here always win. So, uh, you want to come in when they're both fighting, before they kill them off. I think I actually sold this. I sold this a couple days ago. Where do people buy rings? Azora's Will. I sold it for 370. I think? Or wait.
Zora's Will. I sold, no, I sold one to a vendor and the other one's 66. Never mind. I actually sold it for far less than I thought. Ignore me. But the thing that surprised me, surprises me the most is that people buy rings even though it's not transmog. Because at most you're getting like probably a couple levels out of it before you have to like get a new ring. And leveling is so fast and easy these days. Doesn't seem like it's worth the uh the gold. Uh, they buy gear not because they need it, but because they want to level even faster. Hmm. I suppose not everyone's as lucky as me to have... I have, like, all the heirloom rings. They played way too much uh, Warlords. This is from the fishing contest, I believe. So I can wear two different rings for heirlooms. So I suppose not everyone has that. Yep, alright. Because I believe the heirloom rings are from uh, the, the table. So it's completely and totally um, time. Time oriented. You finally got your first heirloom ring on a level 20 character with no flying. I'll probably never forget the day as a Teen, I got the salty title. I, I tried going for the salty title, but um, old crafty just old crafty and the, the other one. I just I I can't. <laughs> I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> I didn't have the patience for it back when I had time, and I don't have patience for it now. I can't. <laughs> We got a Slayer's skull cap. Oh boy, and a pattern. Uh, where's the skull cap? Let's see how that looks. I, I mean, I can see why why people would want to buy this. Black and red is always a good color combination, especially with that design. What is that? It's male. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know the robust set is also pretty good. I think I got a piece that's robust and it's um worth about 40k 40k? Rigid shoulders? I don't think I've seen those before. How do they look? Ah, they look like the Hillmans. Yep, they share <laughs> they share appear an appearance with Hillmans. Okay. So that piece probably shouldn't be that worth that much uh, gold because Hellman's is an easily craftable uh, other working piece. It's mostly for collectors who want to get the just the that specific item appearance. By the way, Peak France, if you want to make gold off of the um, Dark Moon Fair, I, there are several different ways. People like to fish for it, but my my way is just really basic and simple. I flip the inky, inky black potion. So if you go out into the forest east of the fair, there is a person who sells inky black potion for three gold, three... 33 silver and 33 copper, I think. I, and I just stock up on those. And then when the fair ends, uh, the price on that goes up. Because I believe raiders use it to see the... Uh, see... The stuff on the ground a lot better. Yeah, and if you're ra if you do raid still, um, I should probably like test it out because it actually does make it, um, it gives you the um, the view of the world when back when old vanilla had like full night, and I kind of I sometimes I miss it and sometimes I don't because my eyes are going. I have a really hard time seeing. <laughs> But I do miss Old Knight. Here, I'm gonna let this guy finish his quest. tried uh halls of atonement raw gold farm i haven't i've gotten the halls of atonement for my battle of the gold farms video and so i was basically farming the entire courtyard for trying to get like transmog pieces for like you know the hall the battle of the gold farm goal which was to get more item value than the other dungeon i forget what dungeon it was i was competing against but I haven't tried raw gold farming for Halls of the Tournament. I know I've tried different um, Shadlands dungeons for raw gold farming, and they just didn't perform well. Right, right now, all I know is that um, 
Freehold and the Motherload have pretty good values for raw gold farming. But I could test uh, Halls of Atonement. Oh boy. Let's do this. I'm stuck in combat. Uh, totem. After I pull everything, I get around 400 to 500 gold, and it takes a couple, it takes a minute and uh, have to gather everything up, and it's easy to kill it all and fast. Hmm. I think I, when I did battle gold farms, I did it on the druid and. Since I use the speed set that requires me to get L for Azeroth gear, um, you're not really well cured for Shadow Lands. <laughs> so, uh, even though you're level 70, you're, um, you're, your damage is still low for using Bell for, Bell for Azeroth. Um, a piece, chest piece, and shoulders, plus the Heart of Azeroth. Significantly weaker. So maybe I should try farming that on my my monk. And just go guardian. Hmm. So you don't go you get snared while moving. Yeah, that makes sense. Sanguine robes, I remember when I got that last time. It wasn't this. Was it this? Yeah, Sanguine robe. 129,000. Well, I got the Sanguine mantle this time. It's only 1,000 on my server. And on here, it's still 1,000. The Sanguine Robe is pretty good. I think the Long Battle... Is it the Long Battle Bow? There was a bow that dropped during this run that was like 98k. But then again, it could have been like someone just overpricing this bow. Or was it... What was it? I don't know. <laughs> Archer's long? No, it can't be. And then there were these two shields. Wow, back then they were going for 43k. Now they're only 3k. On my server, anyway. Um, another place you can go for farming, um, if it isn't, if it isn't on Ticondrius, which is my server, 
Um, because I go there quite often. Oh, well, there's a 12k bow, blue bow. A place that you can go for transmog farming that's also pretty good is, um, there's a cave right here. It's called the Denwamper Cave. And, uh, it has, like, elites in it. It's also a quest area, so if you make, quite, like, one lap, even on a speed druid, it, everything will be respawned by then. I usually run it on my Demon Hunter, because um, sometimes you can go too fast and it, it's all about respawn. But that place has a chance to drop Saltstone. And Saltstone pieces sell for a lot. Like, actually a lot. On my server, the leg chains for Saltstone, I believe sell for about 300k. Unless I'm correct on this, you will see. Salt stone like leg chains. Oh my. People have been super farming. <laughs> yeah, um let's see. That's back when I was farming it. Yeah. That seems about right. But yeah, it it seems to have gone down a lot. But Saltstone leg chains is basically more slut mog. But anything saltstone usually sells for um a lot. Over 10k. And normally you would get saltstone from, I think, Razorfen Downs? Razorfen Downs and Marada, I think, have a chance of dropping saltstone. But the Denwapper Cave is probably one of the few places in um, open world that you'll get a chance of getting the, uh, the Saltstone set. I heard fishing it was brain dead uh easy now. They can um or has it been for a bit. You can use the interact key, but it also requires an add-on. I think. Either that or the add-on just makes it easier. It's like called better fishing or something like that. I haven't gotten it for a while, but I've used it before. I think better fishing for the most part um drowns like out to all other sounds and makes the, the catching sound louder. And then you use the interact key. I don't know if I have interact key like enabled on this character. Oh, I do. Or enable interact key, which is control numpad one. Okay. I have it on. Yeah, interact key fishing is uh, pretty good. It's fishing is just not for me. <laughs> I, I am not a patient person. Actually, I am a very patient person, but World of Warcraft has um made me jaded in the patient in the patience category because of uh I think Gortusk livers did it to me. It was definitely Gorf Tusk Livers and some other, like, drops.
Yeah, we've been doing this for 30 minutes. I think we can... We can either keep going here or move on to the next area within Stone Town, which I think it's equally as good, but not as spread out. Do I have any upcoming games I'm excited about? Sadly, I can't really get excited about upcoming games because my computer is old. My, my computer is a pre-built from 2016. It's, when I tried to uh, play No Man's Sky with some friends, it, <laughs> it was just a black screen. I was like, this does not feel good. So I'm I'm just stuck with what um, I've got for the time being until I can probably um, if if I do get like monetized on YouTube then I'll probably look into upgrading my computer so that I can and if I upgrade my computer I can upgrade the stream quality I can upgrade so much more but for the time being it's um, it's just rough for the, and I'll just use what I have. I mean, sometimes I'll get frame drops for World of Warcraft, and for a lot of people, that that's um, that's eye <laughs> that's eye opening for people. Oh, see, they they took out the Horde Four band. I was I didn't get here <laughs> fast enough. Understandable. Yeah, I just use with what I have, and if things break, I'm. I'm kind of out of luck because I am kind of poor. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's spiked or thrashed. They must have dodged it. I mean, let me see. Oh, I'm just gonna bring that up. Uh, let me run a DX tag. Uh, it's not what I wanted. Okay, sure. Computer. I'll have to select it from the menu then. Read you guys. If it ever pops up, if it ever loads up, in fact, I can. Oh, there it is. Uh, what is my. Okay. Here's what I'm running as a graphics card. A Radeon RX Vega. So if you even know what that is, it's pretty old. <laughs> I'm not running any of the new crap. I am just running on fumes. Slayer's Cuffs. Alright.
And that's kind of why I'm not like posting my PC specs in like the description below. I don't have anything to be proud of. <laughs> oh, hey, I got another long battle bow. Sadly, it's not worth 98k. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see what that emote is because I, my chat is so small. Ah, <laughs> it's cute. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> I think everyone else is luckier than me. <laughs> oh, darn, you're everyone else. I seriously get two of the same? <laughs> How rare is that? Oh, lovely. Arena Iron Gauntlets. That actually should help me with uh, leveling blacksmithing. I finally do it. Um, have I ever done completionist stuff? Um, way back when I, like, did achievements, like, a lot of achievements, I really, really wanted to do, like, all the reps. So I got that done. I got that done. <laughs> I got most of this done. Some of this done. I never played Pandaria. Got all of this done. Pretty much. All of that done, but yeah. And then for Battle, Battle for Azoth was when I fell off, but completionist stuff otherwise, um I I am quite the completionist. Like I might move into doing more all of the things, like like doing transmog. Stop it. Stop reminding me. <laughs> But I might actually do some completionist runs for like WoW, like getting more transmogs and all that. But um, on other games, I think I try to get as many of the achievements as I, as I possibly can. And I try to get them as soon as I can if I do play the game on launch. Like for New World, I would, I, I've gotten like some really low percentage completions on like the crafting stuff when it launched and new world it's pretty much like runescape but it's hd that's that's how i like to think about it but uh yeah it it's kind of rough on my i think it at least i think it's kind of rough on my video card or it was rough on my other Before I got this video card, which was my 
a hand me down for my dad. Um, I had a a GTX 650. Was it a 650 or 850? I forget what. But I had an even worse graphics card before this. So um, yeah, um, uh, that's a pretty good analogy. Yeah. Yeah. When I played New World for the first time, I was like, "Hey, this is like RuneScape, but it looks better." <laughs> and I played RuneScape back when it was called RuneScape Classic. Back then, uh, what OSRS was called was RuneScape Two, <laughs> and it. And to me, calling it all old school RuneScape is kind of weird. <laughs> and uh, RuneScape was my first MMO, so when I finally got around to playing uh, WoW, it, it was so amazing <laughs> compared to RuneScape. Oh, good. You can get these guys. It looks like I got like some really bad luck on this run, but. 69k is pretty good. Oh, never mind. 72k is pretty good. My first MMO was WoW, and my first impression was WoW. Oh no! <laughs> you poor soul. <laughs> I played WoW for uh, WOD. I played WOD for its entirety. And I stuck around because the raid scene, the raiding scene was, it was really good. But everything else was shit. <laughs> the raiding was amazing. It was so good. The fights were fun. The raids were fun. The gear. Great. Hellfire Citadel's gear was kind of crap. A lot of, a lot of the gear there looks like crap but the bo the boss fights were fun the trinkets are they had some interesting effects i didn't really like the uh challenge mode dungeons but the appearances for those were definitely worth trying to go for i didn't get them i didn't get them Because back then I was a healer and trying to heal those dungeons with other people that you like didn't know were uh you had to have like a, a pre-made pretty much. Like a pre-setup group for that. And I should have uh I should have tried doing those when they, um, before they banned the ring from it. <laughs> and just cheated with the ring. Like, I. Because <laughs> you know that they left the, the leaderboards with the people who used the ring up. They, they didn't take those down, they just left them up. First tune was a troll druid from there, and I just stuck with druids. Okay. My first tune ever was a warlock. I think I showed him off last stream yesterday. He's not really anything special, he just has a couple of, uh, old school recipes that came back and I, I can't really 
say, hey, I have these forgotten recipes that no one makes anymore. <laughs> because they, they put the recipes back into the game and it's no longer FOMO. Oh, okay, I'm staying here apparently. Ah, no transmog. I'm at least hoping to get uh, over 100k before we get... Yeah, I'm still at it. Welcome back, Sand. Also, I see you switched to... Um... <laughs> you switched from Twitch. <laughs> I'm gonna hope to get at least 100k before it hits that one hour mark, but... Uh, I think I shouldn't hold my hopes too high. We are going to like do another hour or or so of the other Stone Town uh, transmog farm, and I hope that it does better in this one. But otherwise, I think I'll go back to small egg farming, <laughs> um, and I'll do every song or something. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm assuming you still got work to do then. That's it's it's actually kind of iffy. I'll either stream for three hours or sometimes I'll stream for seven. So it it really depends on how I feel and uh, how much I just want to show. Because sometimes I just don't have a plan, and I just roll with it. That's only 3k. Still, that's pretty good. Lunch break. Awesome. What's on the menu? Is it like a slice of toast or sandwich? Maybe some bacon and eggs. Well, who would have bacon and eggs for lunch? That's that's heresy. Nothing. I only eat twice a day. Breakfast and dinner. You don't eat at work. I eat once a day. <laughs> Intermittent fasting uh, diet. It's fantastic.
Bacon and eggs is enjoyable any time of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I do love bacon. I've been on the intermittent uh, fasting diet since like uh, COVID 2020 and it's, I think it's saved a lot of money. For sure, real life money. I'm not talking about gold here. <laughs> As well grab this. I'll be using it soon. Oh. Is that worth nothing or why I'm still in combat? Oh, it's worth almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is a 12 hour die. Oh, I see. Oh, I got another fellow. Uh, welcome, Coach Brent Brendan. And thank you for the follow. That is much appreciated. YouTube is lagging out for you. Oh. I hope it's not me. I'm... My bitrate seems completely fine. Well, that's what Twitch says. Let me check what uh, it says. Stream is healthy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think Twitch is much um, more useful for information on whether or not my stream is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it keeps putting you a few seconds behind on YouTube. Okay. I usually get that a lot on Twitch, but um, only if um, I've been watching the stream for a certain amount of time. I need to refresh every once in a while and I'll be more caught up. Well, I have five minutes to make 20k. Otherwise, this farm has, like, disappointed me. <laughs> All I can do is hope for a Sentinel's, Sentinel's piece to drop, because I know that for sure Sentinel's piece is dropped from here. This is the only place where I've gotten a Sentinel's pieces. Oh, there's 10k. But on here it says it's only 8.
What am I in combat with? Oh, these two. Let's see if any of the big groups over here are. Up. There's two of them. Runners, leg guards. On here, it's 15k, and we broke 100k. Two minutes left. Okay, we did it. Okay. Yep. Uh, what does that even look like? That's actually really nice. Is that unique? Kind of. Okay, and... This place is still pretty good. Oh, assassins. Nope, this is mine. Give me your loot. Okay, nice. Okay, let's hop on our cheap vendor mount. all those graves. Okay, let's try the other location. It's gonna be in Stonetown as well, and it's going to be a mine. I think it's Windshear Craig. I think it's called. And it is... This mine right here. And you cannot farm it as Horde at all. Unlike this farm where you can only get like half the mobs and the, the rest will be like friendly to you. But this mine is entirely Horde based enemies. But I will not get flagged for PV, PvP for doing it. Okay, let's give this a go.
alliance character. Because this is a quest area, these should spawn back. Hopefully. Oh, they are back. Okay. Wow, these are actual entities in the world. So I can actually fill up this hallway with these rocks. I have not farmed here before. I just kind of found it. So I need to work out a decent route. Especially once I get a speed set on this druid. Poor goblins, <laughs> those death sounds. I can basically get the same here. Like, even though it's like more mobs along in a line, I think I prefer the other place because you actually are killing more mobs in a group for more chances rather than just uh, one, two, two, three, and then one, one. Oh, 
I somehow got myself turned around to go <laughs> this way. Okay. Well, I got more of the Sanguine set. Do I... How much of the Sanguine set do I even have? Like, burned. Apparently none of it. <laughs> As I reached him from so far away. Oh, lunch is over, guy. Go have fun. See you tomorrow. All right. I am kind of winding down as well. So, just kind of chill. <laughs> so if anyone has any questions, I'll definitely answer. Um, but if I'm not talking for a while, I'm just I'm kind of winding down.
going too fast. What's up with this respawn time? Wait. I guess I noticed that. Um, there's another goblin. Oh, it just says quests. Okay. I thought they had like some zone drop that I was not aware of. Okay. I was thinking this would be better than the other place, but it's not looking like it. So. I want to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I'll do this right now about 15 minutes and then we'll see what how much the druids made. I did want oh my gosh, what? Slayer's slippers. Those aren't slippers, those are full on boots. Alright. Call them what you want. Me up with some pings. Come
Okay, I'm back, Mr. Zerk. Uh, I had to take a Horizon mission with my friends. Okay. Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Um, slightly tired, but... you have any more questions, I can definitely try to answer them. I, I had you in the back watching you run. All right. Not really right now, just trying to uh, see how profitable live transmogs can be. I think the most profitable thing is... Yeah, definitely not right now, but at the start of Season 4, it should be pretty big. Like a big res resurgence. We're going to see uh, Deviled Vessel's Eggs go back up, up in price. You're going to see uh, the the raid foods, the, the the feast go back up in price, and all the ingredients are going to be massively. <laughs> um, it's going to be a resurgence of that. Which reminds me, I should probably uh grab some eggs, some basilisk eggs before. They go all the way back up in price because I do make some gold off of current content. It's not a lot. And the the only recipe I have, because I don't really do much current content, is uh, Revenge Serve Cold. I need Elfin Dorados for that. Right now is extremely profitable. Mm. About 50k for an hour, half an hour. Interesting. Well, it's uh it is Tuesday, so the raids have reset. 
So people are definitely looking to uh, stock up for raid. Because I'm pretty sure people want to get the achievements before Season 4 hits. It's the fact that uh, Elephant is six gold and the Grand Bouquet is. or Banquet. Banquet, not Bouquet. Banquet is 71 G. Oh. Well, I don't have that recipe, so I wouldn't have known. That's in St. Provit Marge. Okay. So I would have to go about. Trying to learn how to make a bank, grand bouquet. Or, unless I, I have the recipe and I just am too stupid to know that I have it. Which is likely. My main cook is my main on the server, which is my rest of shaman. How long have I played it? I played most of season one and then quit i have not touched a lot of season two like i did do some of the that vault thing which means i did some of the uh forbidden reach i have not touched the caverns at all I have not touched this place at all. I don't know what's here. I don't I don't know what you can even do here. Uh Grawl's Venation is the recipe. I don't think I have that. I can definitely check it in like four minutes. Or I could check it now and just not care about this farm anymore because it's been so slow. It could be just that I'm slowing down though. It's not the farm itself. Did I do Emerald Dream? Um, I think I had a friend take me through normal. One time. <laughs> but it was on my paladin and not my sh shaman. And I don't think my sh my paladin has a uh, cooking. The Emerald Dream Zone. I didn't do very much in the Emerald Dream Zone. Okay, so it's locked behind the rep. Alright. Yahoo rep grinds here I come. I'm back again. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really touched much of anything uh since season one. Like I went really hard in season one thinking that this would be a expansion that I really would enjoy. And then some things happened IRL that just put me down. And uh Yeah. 
that kind of affected my um my look on Dragonflight. No, I'm really not profiting from any of new uh, any of the new content. I have decided to like mostly stick with what I fell in love with in the first place, which is the old content. It is. Well, um, I can attempt it, but I really do not enjoy uh, play. That is about 30 minutes. Okay. So I should probably check if I have things like that. Okay, so this druid actually made about 7k from the stuff I farmed while leveling up. It's pretty awesome. Here, let me see what my, uh main from season one has because I did do some Emerald Dream stuff on it otherwise I'll have to check my monk and my paladin because those were my main for they were going to be my going to be my mains for season three if I decided to like mythic plus and raiding but I kind of switched to gold making content and uh haven't really looked back Season 4, I really look forward to actually trying the, the new Mythic Plus system. I do kind of miss being competitive, but I don't miss being toxic. <laughs> I have been, I, I will admit that I've been toxic in the past uh, about like, but, but I don't like it when it happens to me, so I'm just like, I'm trying to drift away from that. Uh, okay. Let's look at reps here. Dream Wardens, level two. Yeah, I think I'm pretty far along. I may have gotten the recipe from level two. Uh, I've done, I've done like nothing. Yeah, I, I barely have anything in the crafting department. I. This is my dual crafter alchemist. See, I'm not even maxed yet. I don't even have any blue tools or equipment. I'm not even maxed on alchemy yet. This is where I kept all of my uh, Legion turn-ins. I hope to, like, I've been turning Fell Slate into, like, prospecting crap so I can flip it. So I'm going to turn these into rings and then I'm going to disenchant them. And yeah. Oh, I've been an alchemist for years. I've been an alchemist since Burning Crusade on my priest on my main server, and I know how alchemists can be profitable. I've just... I just don't like Dragonfly. I, there's just something about it. Just I don't like playing it. 
Alchemy and leatherworking? How is leatherworking good? Is there like a dragonflight drums that is really selling or something? Here, let me get on one of my second, like, season three mains, which was, I guess, Raiden. Armor kits, uh, toxic patch, and hides. I see. All right, let's see. Level one. That's even worse. Uh, okay. Yep. I think he's my most geared character at 450. <laughs> That's terrible, right? <laughs> I imagine you're not laughing at me, but laughing with me. <laughs> it's okay if you laugh at me too, because I'm I'm honestly not trying. It's okay. Uh, okay. Wait. All right. <laughs> but I still enjoy this transmog. I like to imagine he's a paladin with a, a golden blade, but he doesn't take care of the blade. It's a uh, Very troll-like. Uh, he's my keeper of extremely expensive goods. Like, uh, this Blade of Wizardry. And, uh, these Icy Tomb uh, Spalders. Um, my Spire of the Stone Shaper. Yeah. I just have to try. And with like alchemy mats as low as they are, I'm pretty sure that's pretty low. I'm pretty sure I could like run like an hour of freehold, get a free 10k of freehold money, and then just buy a bunch of herbs and such. Because this guy's my blacksmith. I'm not I'm not maxed yet. I still I I, I think I made this myself. Yeah, I made that myself at the start of the expansion. So I don't know I don't exactly know what's profitable for crafting wise um for this expansion. I I could always like probably ask Canadia for that or any of my other um peers in that department. Overworld Knowledge Collection. Is that a... Not one of those. It's a... Is that a specialization? Or am I just missing something here? Also, don't... Don't take this, like, to heart. This is just me messing around and hoping that I was doing something good. Okay. He's really good with random stuff. Okay. Let me check my last uh, main ish. Th this main is actually um, they're a leather worker. So let's see how far along I got leather working in this one. Because in season one, I did try to go hard. I actually did like get crafting up, and I tried to do the raid. I tried to do mythic plus. I I tried. 
it just didn't go the way that I wanted to say. Okay, no. Put that way. Okay, I'm about halfway through. Oh, it's, you're saying like online. I'm assuming it is this right here. So I should just do like go down the list and do a checkbox with this, huh? Alright. All right, I'll see what I can do about that. Thank you for the help, by the way. I really appreciate it. I, I keep talking to chat. I need to look at the camera. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Crap. Help. Oh. I did mostly Mythic Plus on this one, and slower eye level than Paladin. But yeah, I need to... I did a lot of like mocking of the, the armors on this one. Okay. Because um, I thought I was pl going to be playing with someone, and as it turned out, uh, work changed for them, and they have held them hostage pretty much because of you know AI. Against the insurgents and uh, um, know how like the programs are, are really trying to work their butts off to like outwork AI right now. Yeah, they're trying to keep their job <laughs> right now <laughs> because of the surgeons of AI taking people's jobs. So I, I um, play time uh, by my level of like how much I want to play has been greatly decreased because of that. But at the same time, I love this game, <laughs> and I can't really spend time with them if they're just working. So I, if there's like, yeah. So I'll definitely go over this. And I I have two tailors. I used to have uh I used to have two, and then I like I deleted a warlock, which was my, my main tailor, because I wanted to switch over to the panda. Instead of troll. I hate troll. Oh, Sandalari Troll's good, but I don't really like old Troll. Um, here's my other tailor. I like pandas a little too much. Um, this is my inscriptionist or scribe, blacksmith, leather worker. This is the engineer, and he's also a blacksmith. He does armor. Raiden does weapons. Um, okay, so this one has some tailoring level. But I, I highly doubt I got very far in it. Because my other um, tailor is, uh, I already deleted him, but I can 
definitely care to restore him to just see all the noises and sounds. Okay, let's see. Yeah, uh, I have Azure Weave on this one. Unlocked. Grab the points from the wow head. Uh, yeah. I think I went heavy into a zero wave on this one. But I wanted my main tailor to be my warlock. Is it 110 points each uh, profession, like, maximum? Or is it 110 points you're saying that can be, like, earned through this sky? Because um, I, I'm wondering, how long does it take to, like, max out a profession? Oh, it's per character. Okay, so it's going to be, like, max out a profession per character. Let me see if I can restore Evan. Sure. All right, Evan, what do you have for tailoring? I have collected some points. I, I know I've gone around, like, um, for most of my characters, I have gone around the world to talk to the profession master. And at the time of season one, he, they were saying that, hey, there are more points to collect, but we don't know where they are. But there were at least, like, at least seven per, per profession that you could go out and collect. I imagine his stuff has been reset. Yeah. Okay. What was your tailoring then? What? I don't think I... Did everything get reset? Everything got reset. Um, just for deleting my character. I have, only have three points anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. He doesn't have anything. So it's fine. I can delete this guy again. <laughs> no regrets. Why are you saying, oh my god? <laughs> I've been slowly making gold off of old content. Come on. It's viable. It may not be as viable as, like, new content, but yeah. It, it's just what I do. I mean, this is what my... This is all off of, like, old stuff, by the way. And then I bought, um... I'm saving to earn, uh... Four within with just, well... All gold. I'm getting pretty close to being able to buy it. But the new content is actually really crazy. I know, but I don't want to burn myself out. And I feel like I can't burn myself out on content that I really, really enjoy. That's the thing, man. But um, if you're willing to like help me out with that, then um, sure. 
<laughs> yeah, sure, I can give it a go. I can definitely um, look into this, the earning profession knowledge points. Knowledge points cannot be refunded once spent. They are permanent. All right, awesome. All right, awesome. Okay. I think it's safe to say I don't really need this guy. <laughs> Stop. I, I, I'm pretty sure I emptied everything. He has no no money at all. And I'm pretty sure his bank is empty. Yo. Except for some ones of legendary. Okay, I guess I played him in Shadowlands. Okay, he doesn't do anything with that. Okay, I'm gonna delete him. <laughs> So basically, my other warlock would be starting from scratch because they are kind of a fresh 70. How many ults do I have? Uh, how many 70 ults do I have? Um, they're pretty much all onto the countries. So they're all, this is pretty much all of them. Um, no, not 60 plus. Definitely not. <laughs> I cannot do that. I don't have two accounts. I just have this one. And she is starting basically from scratch. She doesn't ha even have... Uh... This is Sandalari. She doesn't even have Dragonflight yet. <laughs> oh, 60 plus? I mean, leveling? Oh boy, um, 60 plus. That would mean. Okay, so I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 70s, and a 65 on this server alone. On my old main server, Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. So four sixties. My old main server. Um, a 50, 57, 52, 51, 60. Here's a 70, 60. Um, let me check. Illidan? When was the last time I leveled on Illidan? Uh, somewhat recently. So two more 60s here. Earth and Ring has nothing. Those are two warriors I have not leveled in a very long time. And Wormrest Accord... Uh, three 60s and a 50. So the majority of my 70s are just on Tychondrius. And I haven't really been doing the, the world quests for, like, dragon riding, even though I hear so much that it's, uh, it's great. I, I haven't done that yet. see. Well, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. This is my transmog seller. This is my recipe seller. 
Don't ask what I, I I like to keep them separate because that's just how my mind works. Uh I'm gonna see how much our druids made. I'm getting pretty tired here. Discord? Have a command in this chat. Let me see. Let me grab the link from Twitch. That should be a link to my, my Discord. I should definitely like, find a way to pin that. All oh, right, I left this druid here. Take it on home. That's, that's nice. Okay. This druid made 17k. I can hear you, I think. Yeah. I would not know. Um. Yeah, I, I, I have not tried. Okay. I um I did mention earlier in the stream I have revenge best served cold. I also have the devil sour eggs and the way I got them was through the vault. Even though uh, I been recently notified that you can actually get them in the caverns but yeah but i am max in cooking at least that that or very close i am very close I, i'm one away but i have i do have plus 10 for being a pandar
Okay. I would not know. Um, also, I have it so that you won't be uh, heard on on stream, if that's okay with you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So jewel crafting is at 80. I Again, I would not know. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I do very little BFA, but I do mostly um, vanilla, out, uh, Outland. Yes. Okay, let's see. Specializations. Okay, I have. I have four points to to spend, and then I have. Um, Fascinating Earth. For whatever reason, and then setting jewelry. I think I did this because I really wanted the the thing to increase uh, gem slots and necklaces. Because at the time that was like uh, at the time that was really uh, really profitable. But okay. Uh, I am Zerk1827. I need to figure out how to get uh, friends here. Okay. There you go.
I'm pretty sure I did. I did it on all of my main characters I wanted to run. And I don't think I got got it on my new uh, warlock. No, 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 I'm playing with my shaman. I'll look at it with you. It's my internet slow. I can definitely try to use my streamer lock to get a lariat, <laughs> lariat recipe. Do I have what? I I do. I can go activate that. All right. There you go. Uh, feathered th uh, threat, I think. This one. Yeah, I see it. All right. Nice. All right. 
Let's see. Mysterious cauldrons. Between the world press while I'm here. May as well. I'm not like moving too far away. In the right area? Do I need to be on the other side of this rock? Oh boy. Okay, you're coming. Do a, um, well, I did a raid way back when. Nah, I, I don't really, uh, Mythic Plus much. I have Mythic Plus in, uh, Season 1, but not this, not, not this one, Season 3. Okay, where are these cauldrons that I'm supposed to touch? Because I, I, I've...
the Mister Mysterious Cauldrons. It says that uh, um, See a, a discolored toy here. I'm being attacked here. Let's see. Okay. I put them in the cauldron or just in front of them? one. Okay, let's see. I got a um Replace that toy. I see a toy over here. I think I need to... There's a toy over there. Okay. Pick this one up then. Alright, I'm gonna replace this toy so it doesn't disappear. I hope. And get the one you pinged. All right. Okay, they're all placed. I can't click on the cauldrons. Oh, and there goes a toy. <laughs> um, I I may have done this in season one. I just don't remember it. Because um, when I came back to WoW, I had un I noticed I had uninstalled all of my add-ons. I had to reinstall TSM, and I don't really have anything beyond.
Okay. Yeah, sure. If I'm not in combat. Got it. All right. This is my first time doing this. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I. This is my first time meeting you. I think I. I I'm not sure. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. There is one to the north, called a uh, ripened slime. Let's see. It is. How do I think the. can't fly <laughs> uh, at the same time. I think it's in this cave. Maybe? No, I don't know. Uh, it looks like it is, yeah. No? It's like right next to it. Here, I'm just take care of this guy and see if it's in here. Okay, I don't think it's in here. It's just really close to this cave.
Okay, I think I found it. Alright. This is it. Yeah, I got it. And let's see. Another one to the north. All right, let's let's to figure out how to link pin the things. Yeah, it's all the way in the north. Oh wow, this place is. Pretty cool. <laughs> no, I've never been down here. Okay, I got the next one. Yeah. And now, let's see. I'm going to guess the next one's like south. Yeah, here's one. eggs shells okay I got it okay it says there's one in the west That not that is a chest with a hammer. Oh, okay. It is uh east just east of that lake. The island in the middle. Um, I've been rocketed across the zone. Oh, 
Hello. Okay. Ah, uh, I'll hop on. Okay, it is over that way. Oh, over that way, like 200 meters, um, like right over here. Uh oh. Uh, around there, yeah. Let's see. It's like right here. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's see, where are you so I can help you? Because you're like half health. <laughs> now, now you need to be healed. <laughs> ah, yeah, I hear. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who's this guy? <laughs> I can't heal him. He's of the opposite of protection, but I'll keep I'll keep you alive. If there's anything I'm confident in, it's my healing. <laughs> Oh, I got another one, just from looting this. <laughs> okay. Where's the nearest exit? Let's see. I have full. Oh, nearly full. Alright. Where's the exit? <laughs> oh, like these these little cave things. Head over to the east one. Wait, am I heading back down in? I, I am not sure where I am. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, I got another one from my mailbox. Awesome. All right. Am I dreaming? What exactly am I looking for here? Okay. I, yeah, I, on season one, I got at least like one per zone because of uh, what people found or okay, let's see. How about this is bell meth. Is it the trophy necklace? Okay, so I should do grand hunts whenever I am able. All right. Okay. 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 My two blacksmiths, I have two of them. Um, I'm very comfortable with playing them, so it's like beating monsters. I'm definitely going to be able to beat the monsters. Uh, they're, one's a paladin, and the other one's a warrior. So they're kind, they're somewhat mobile. Um, Oh, hello, Kaylee.
I'm currently receiving some health in uh, Dragon's Light Crafting. Uh, I am kind of uh, chilling out, slowing down. You're doing then that there must be something I can work through. Fine. By the way, Kaylee, I am dual streaming right now, so. Okay, uh, what's the fastest way there? Oh, of course. <laughs> just, just hearing the surprise in your voice, it's like, uh oh, <laughs> I'm missing out on a lot, apparently. Oh, wait. Oh wait, I, I, you don't know the way. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, see, I, I, I do have an enchanter. I forget which one is the main for this expansion. I don't know who my enchanter is for the expansion, so... Um... Nope, I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, hello. No, you attack that. I do PvE. I'm not much of a PvP here. above okay, I I'm heading to a hammer that I saw on the map it's to the south yeah I left uh should I should I return <laughs> I don't know what's happening I I don't know this so uh, I missed the whole boss fight uh oh I, I did I was here for the boar that was changing into things, but um I wasn't here for whatever was next. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I was there. I, I left immediately after. Okay. I am? <laughs> I'm 
No. I am serious. I did. Which one's good? My helpful abilities have a chance to trigger a healing so Sure. Is this good content? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've just been having fun on Bile My Own Way. I started in 2006. Yeah. Yep. At the end of Vanilla, yeah. Original bio. Just been braided. What's happening? Oh, Matt. Thank you for the braid, Matt. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> and thank you for the follow, Ajax. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> I train. <laughs> what is happening? Thank you, breathers. Oh. And the and many more follows. Thank you, Oak Darkness and Wolfie. Uh, I think I'm, everything's slowing down. <laughs> okay, that just means I need I need to keep going. <laughs> Yeah, we are um, introduced to my stream. I I was slowing down to stop, <laughs> and then I got caught up in doing uh, uh crafting. We're doing uh crafting. What are these called? 
These are like crafting learning knowledge points. Yes, that's what they're crafting knowledge points for trying to because I've never done any of the new content. I this is new to me. <laughs> this is entirely new to me. <laughs> because I just keep doing the uh, old content. <laughs> Feel free to head off if you're planning to it. it no, it's fine. <laughs> I'll, I, I can keep going for a little bit longer. I have fake coffee here to help me go. I've... Yeah. Zongli emotes, what? I don't know if I have Zongli emotes. Oh, he has Zongli emotes. Okay. I... I don't know if those are Zongli emotes, though. I, I think that's just his own personal emote. <laughs> Haley. Okay. Um, I think I was heading off to see about this hammer over here. Do my what? My intro to my streams. I... I didn't have much planned for this stream. I wanted to farm small eggs. <laughs> I I do. I um I think it's my death knight. Actually. Okay, I'll switch really quick. Actually, I don't think it I don't think it's my death knight. It might be my mage. I just remember my death knight is oh, Thank you, Kaylee. I keep forgetting that I have to do shout outs. I'm so new to the game rated. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't. I mean no disrespect. <laughs> I'm so glad you were here to do that, Kaylee. None taken, no worries. All right. Okay. Let me see if this is my enchanter. Oh, I barely did anything on this thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it, it, the, the thing is low, um, I, well, wait, 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 I have 32 in Draconic Disenchantment and then 10 in Insight of Blue, and that's about it. All right, where am I? Okay, off stream, I will definitely look into getting all the stuff that I just got on my shaman. I just. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Matt streams well. Oh, introduce my.
that is. The only thing you have next to go through is get the rip from. It's too late to grind for the Lariat. Yeah, I, I won't buy it. Definitely not. So I'll I'll just use streamer luck and I'll get it off a drop, my first drop, and then um <laughs> I just need to direct all my streamer energy to that. Um But uh welcome Raiders. I am Zarek. I stream WoW, I collect. I also, um, I do a lot of gold making. I, I'm completely new to new content, as you can see here. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very green. <laughs> um, I, it was my first time going down into the caverns today. That looks pretty awesome. I look forward to going back and exploring it a little bit more. And I, I might explore a little bit more of the, the Emerald Dream. I, like I, I don't think I've ever explored this part over here. It's full of trees. Okay. Um, what was I supposed to do on my enchanter over here? Or is the rare already dead? Oh. Um, I need you in my party again. <laughs> I'm like an app only. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where are you? I do not see where your little green dot is. <laughs> okay, I see you. Okay. Already. I'm not sure if I see them either. Oh, there it is. Oh, this rogue just took... <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Do I have to turn them in now? Because I have three and they just won't...
Let's see. It's just this tiny little bit now. Oh, we got it. Now what? Okay, now you open the... I'll open this pouch. And I didn't get anything, I think. Okay, I got wrecked. I got a quest. I, I did ask you before, but I think you were distracted. Um, did you want to be heard on Discord or no? Because I have it set to no. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I think that people were like very confused as to who I was talking to because I'm just talking to myself right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I turned on Discord. You can say Hello, hi to the stream. Mr. Zarek. Yes. I often talk to myself. <laughs> I saw you okay. do, 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 uh, do you have do you have any seeds? Mr. Zarek? I gosh. Um I have one, I think. One, one seed. Alright, don't use it there. Let's 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 uh um, Find a spot for your next, for your next, uh, cause I don't have, I can't see your, uh, things. You gotta, you gotta point them out, but you're a little hammering, you're a little... Oh. But, I can kill everything that is inside. That's the that's one thing I can do for you. Don't worry about that. Even the lions, or the opposite faction, but it's the lions from the middle. I can kill them. I'll push your lions, though. Are you allies? I'm pretty sure you're allies. No, I am hard. Oh, I, for hard. the most part, for the most part, I'm hard. For the, I've never been alliance in my life. All 20 years of playing this game, never touched an alliance character in my life. Mm hmm. Well, they're flagged. <laughs> well, it's 18, 18 years, I think. 18 years for sure. For sure. I know for a fact of 2016. 2006, actually. 2006. I started out as a alliance, and I switched to horde when they on the servers were crying out for healers. Well, I, I, was a, like, I, started, I was a alliance paladin, and I got to level uh, 25, and then I switched to horde because all my friends were hordes, and then I never went back. Uh, what are we waiting for here? <laughs> Or could I? I could probably go and get this hammer up here. All right. Get the hammer, bro. Because because we're going to get juicy. Juicy never uh spawned. Oh, here we go. I think we missed the juicy spawn. That's what happened. All right. So here's a new spawn. Right. Um. 
Bum, 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 bum. Perfect. Mrs. Eric, do you need a seed? This is uh, a quest. Why did it lead, to, lead me to a quest? Oh, I didn't select the stupid thing. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the uh, last uh, one. Do you need another seed or not? Um, I was... I'm over here trying to get my... I see where you are, but you need another seed or not. Ooh, I got a pet! Oh my god! Okay, I got the ever-burning thing. Oh. I have to disenchant it. I forgot about this. I, I'm not my jewel crafter anymore. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I have a seed and I need to plant it, I I suppose. I... So yeah, you gotta plant your seed as as real life goes. Okay, is it the seed marker on the map? The seed marker on the map. Uh oh. Oh, that's an elite. <laughs> I'm an undergrid mage. It's just Zerg, where are you? Combat, I can't do it. Oh, it's over here. There, she's dead. I get <laughs> from my inventory. Okay. Crap is this? Um, I can't do anything with this. I don't have any of the materials. I never did this. You've never done the uh, Emerald Dream every life. No. I, I I have done the Emerald Nightmare, and it turned into the Emerald Dream back in the region. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's that's the animal dream I've done. That's all us old contents. Yeah, that's the content I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to wait, wait, wait time, I guess. So it's too okay. many times. Uh, let me just add up this for you. That's just because. Oh my god, I hate hurting myself. Wait, I think I'm just, it's fine. I'll forget how to do my voices. Did I just buy DF? Uh, no, I bought it before. Uh, I did the pre-launch event, and uh, I I did season one. Uh, Willy, Billy, silly, and um, yeah, I I did season one. I left for season two because it didn't seem very interesting to me. And then I came back for season three, well, season of Discovery, and then I got bored of season of Discovery and moved over to uh, retail. So, yeah, I I haven't really done anything. I, I today was the first time I went into the cavern of, I don't know what it's even called. What is this called? What is this cavern called? I don't even see it on the map. Oh, there it is. Zerlik? Um, 
Yes, uh, but yeah, I, I played plenty of DF. I just, um, I, I play not DF <laughs> in DF. <laughs> I play plenty of Dragonflight, just not Dragonflight. I just play WoW. The, the zones that I grew up with, the zones that I remember being like my fondest memories, and uh, that's how I f have fun in WoW. What do I make gold for? Uh, so far, I my current goal is to buy the war the war within with just gold, game gold. Oh, I think my seed is ready. Hey, I got ore from a plant. Um. <laughs> I need, I think, two more tokens in order to buy Epic Edition for War Within, and then I have like no goals for go making gold. I'll just continue to make gold and improve, and improve my ways of making gold. And then, um, from what Canadia TV said that he does is um, he actually buys copies of like the War Within, and he has giveaways with them. So I might do that. So that, that, that seems like a legitimate idea. Yeah, he does do that. Yeah, it's, it's um, it sounds really fun. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, I don't really have many goals for gold making. I I've never really cared for the Brutusaur, no, but no, 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 you can do the gold. It's called yeah. the um. Unclaimed black market auction, uh, the, the little container. Yeah, the unclaimed black, black, black market uh, 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 container. You gotta, you gotta buy one of those things. I have to buy. I I don't think I've ever touched the black market. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. Do you know where it is? <laughs> uh, I know where it was in BFA because I did see it. I didn't touch it because I didn't That's really want to spend the money. That was two expansions ago. Wait, was it in Shadowlands? Alright, <laughs> uh, we're going back. Uh, let's go Did the stream play? I don't think the stream crashed. It looks no, like it's still go, going. On. We're going to go see if, if, see if you got to buy a container. And that's your thing. Buying a container. That's your gold dump. Let me just hop with you because I'm catching up. Uh, save 10 million by the AH. Okay. I, I suppose I could save up for the Bruce Bruce then. You can, you can, you can, or you could take your chances in the unclean black market container. <laughs> oh, hey, what you were talking about, yes. I I don't know what's inside of those, so I would it's not everything. know. Is anything that could possibly happen in the game is in that container. Oh okay. anything. So your stream of luck has come in, come in handy. Oh, where am I? Oh, we have fallen asleep. Right here. Where have you led me? <laughs> I, 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 you properly are like not in the proper expansion. That's probably what happened. Yeah, huh? So this will be right here, and this is correct. Now I'm I ran out of um. Oh my god! Do you know what's crazy? I'll tell you right now. Get my voice back. Stream is fine. Okay. No, no. no. So I was kind of worried. I no, have, no. I do have two streams running. No, it's my my own personal self. Hear my voice back. In my own mind. Okay, so like, 
in my mind and my brothers as well are like we cannot hear our like uh actual voices it sounds like we're like like when i talk when i talk it always sounds like i'm like 10 years old no matter what even though my voice is super deep and i never mm -hmm. understand that in my mind and my brothers as well <laughs> I actually hey, don't mind my voice. Oh, I fuck. talk so fast. It's, in, it's insane. Is it? Oh my god. Fucking flight, brother. Land on the flight. We're gonna land over here. And then we're gonna have the alchemist do. Get up, get up, get up. You son of a bitch! Oh, oh my god! Uh oh. What's happening over here? Alright, we're gonna have the alchemist this one. Uh, alchemist, where is it? Or you, you uh, go to your go to your thing. I'll tell with yours. You got. Oh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not. I'm not on my alchemist. I'm on my, my enchanter still. Go on your uh, your dragon flight. Well, I'll jump on it. Where are you? Where did you go? I'm back in Valdraken, and You're I'm so being good. screamed at by a Purek. <laughs> Yeah, you sound like a two-year-old. <laughs> Bill, behave, please. <laughs> uh, but do I wait? Do I sound like a two-year-old? <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? That Kaylee, what? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a, I sound like a Zerk. Oh, thank you. No, not right. Not 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 right about that one. You sound like a Zerk. Wow. All right, now I'm back in the um, Let me see what I mean. Cast orders. Sound like a, I sound like a bear. Oh, yeah. Nope. Alright, um, Mr. Zurich, where are you? I am in Veldraken still. I, I, I'm not sure. Right here. Yeah. Alrighty, let me use some stuff. Um, first of all, you're gonna want this thingy. Uh, trade. Alright. Oh, what is it? Where's my uh, fucking. Where, where the fuck is it? Hold on. Oh, here you go. You hold that. Okay. Okay. Um... How are you? Jump on me? Alrighty. Oh, I have to mount. I think. No, I don't. I can't. I can't. That's not. <laughs> it's the same mount. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so blind? <laughs> not focused either.
see. No, it's not in the place. Oh, it's the wrong spot. Ha! Huh. Where are you taking me? <laughs> this close to the house. Alrighty, so it's this little thing right there. I think you pinged me. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. So, oh, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Bitch! Black bitch! Oh, white bitch! Look at this son of a bitch! Green bitch! Look at this. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Jerk, quick. Oh, he took it. Son of a bitch. Oh. All right. We gotta wait for it. 10 minutes, at least. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. At least minimum. I have a vault key for that. Um, yeah, the vault key doesn't matter. The vault key doesn't matter. You okay. gotta wait for the um, what happens right here is like a little, little uh, uh, not right here, it's like right here. It is this thing right here. And a, a little, um, a, uh, what do you call it? A little crate comes and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, uh, click quick before he does it. Okay. So as soon as it spawn, yeah, so as soon, now the crab is gone, as soon as that thing, as soon as, 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 as a little crate, crate right here spawns, you gotta quick, you gotta click it quick. Okay. So are they? Oh no! Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a spot. It's a farm, buddy. This is a huge farm. Oh, are they like an AFK bot, or is this it's just a farm? It's a huge farm. It's a huge farm. Oh, I don't know. Uh. Okay, how does this crate look? It, it, it just pops up and it's like a little purple ep look, look, epic looking quake uh, uh, crate. It, it pops up like right exactly where you are. Exactly where you are. You gotta click it first before they click it. And and they have a little FK bot. You gotta, you just gotta click it first. It is so. I hate when they're here. Oh my god! Is bad. All right. So in the meantime, you could actually uh, farm these little uh, scale belt macros if you want to, but um, there's no point of farming any kind of fish. Oh no no no. Oh oh, actually, I'll be back. Hold on one second. Ah, ah I love this guy. You know what? Jump on me. Let's go. Okay. I'm here.
Oh, they are to the. That's insane. Oh no, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. All right. This mount. I don't know if you can jump on this guy. Can you? Do you have water mounts? I do have water mounts. I just don't have them key bound. All right, double your water mount. Let's just type in water and hope one comes up. Oh, wonderful! All right, let's go. I don't hear there is this, is to look for a uh, underground tunnel. I think it's right here. Exactly right here. And he goes underground. Ah, oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm wrong. Oh, maybe it is right here. All right. No, I'm, I'm probably wrong. Am I wrong? You should this kelp like hides one. Yeah, here's a cave right here. He is currently under attack. He's almost dead. Attack him! Attack him! Get, get a hit! Get a hit! Get a hit! Get a hit! Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Got it. Got it. Oh my god! Are you serious? Okay, well, hopefully you you actually could attack him because I couldn't. Yeah, I, I got I got the tag. I don't know if you since you're you in the group. You, okay, now, yeah. I got tag too. That's 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 what I'm talking about. Yeah. I got uh looks like plate shoulders for a compound. All right. Oh, it's 385. Son of a bitch! Okay, let's see what I got! What? What did I get? <laughs> Wait, what, what, what did I get? I don't know. I just know that you got like uh what is this? Sealed knowledge scroll. Yeah, I got a sealed knowledge scroll, which is supposed to give you a recipe of some some kind of assortment that you don't have. Is it this? No, that's not in this one. What did I Gosh, I haven't been. Wow, well, I I have I'm... been around here just in the vault mostly. I've never had this happen in my life. Oh my god, I think it's a glitch. People have been saying about like when you're in a, a group, you can't open a scroll. I uh, son of oh. a bitch. Well, all right, whatever. I should have known that. I should remember that part. He got excited. It's all right. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, that's 25 cake on the drain. It could have been anything. Outside. I'm outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I, I don't even know. Mean. Actually, I don't know what it means. Hold on, this makes no sense.
you have, like your your crabs back. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You have the crabs. You have the crabs. You open it right here. You have it. Wait, I need to be back there. You gotta get back there. <laughs> it's all to you. I, I'm trying to find this thing. Uh... Oh. Not exactly sure where that crap was in the first place, but it's not on the map because I think it's because we killed it once. That is very weird. My mount does not work. So it's only usable outside. Yeah, no, you no, might no, still no. be in the cave. Yeah, and I, I, I but I think that I should have been able to uh, bounce. Oh. You are right. Some of them Yeah, I You, you yeah. work. <laughs> I'm, you I'm here. You. I just don't know yeah, where the uh, the crab is. Little crab, yeah, 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 yeah. So you go from here, you follow this little path over here, and you go to the edge. Okay. There you go, right here, right here, right here. And they used it already. Like I said, the hunters here, they're not leaving, it's a bot. The bot's not leaving, they're AFK, they're staying here, they're not moving. First of all, actually they're a horde. Look, look at the guild, AFK food. All right, um, I'm gonna have to talk to them. Are they truly AFK though? <laughs> Hold on, we'll see. They are logging out. Oh, we won. I didn't have a talk. Is that how they log? Oh, they did log out. We didn't have to face. All right, I'm gonna fish then. Bad level attrition. Is that what it's called? Wait. There you go. Got a fish over here. Okay, here's uh There you go, there it is. Got it. Okay. Wait. 
what you get. Uh, great. I got coins and elemental overflow. What? What? I got. I opened the lot. Uh, the the lot. Uh, gosh, why can't I say that? And then I got a bunch of coins. I got rusted, a copper, and just a couple of fish. Rusted coin of the isles? I've never seen that in my life. But the copper, I know what that is. What's the rusted? Link that in the, in the little chat. Let me see that. What does that say? What's the rusted? Okay. Uh, rusted coin of the isles. The copper coin. And... It's a quest item. Okay. Uh, do the quest. Okay. The Great Swag. It's in Anaran Plains. Why can't I click on you? What level are you? No, 70. Do I have to enable it? Uh... I don't see if I can enable it. All right, I know where it is anyway. Okay. Let's see. It's an iron planes. Um, I want to mark you, but I don't want to get through my marker. It's a thing. Also, also, I don't mean to be rude, but I do um, plan to end my stream soon. Do you want your crabs back? Because um, those are yours. I have millions of those. Okay. Thank you. So I'll I'll do this uh, great swag thing to find out what this is, but yeah. I am super tired. I've been going for almost uh six hours now. Uh yeah, see that. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna guess it's in here. It's a it's a oh, giant toad. On, it's a giant toad on top of some coins. Yes. Oh it's a shop. Yeah, it's a shop. Yeah, yeah. He got a little shop on him. Oh, he doesn't want me to sell anything to him. Uh, well, where's the so quest? I... Though, did you do the quest? Yeah, I did the quest, and it opened him as a shop. That's all it was. Yep. That's the uh, garbage quest. So, what does uh? Gurgitated sack of tre swag treasures. 
All right, so what you're gonna have to do now is uh, farm those coins, and you get a pretty cool mountain. You get a little um, where are you? I'll show you where the mountain is. All right, I'll I'll head out to the entrance of the cave. <laughs> she just went to fire him. I was just stuck far back in the back. You got there so far ahead of me. I don't even know how you got there. All right. So far away from you. Oh, holy shit. Because I went to the Valve Factory and then you're at the um, Swag. And the Swag is along the river. Actually, see what the other ones are. Sick. Oh, there you go. Those bags might be worth it. All right, so will you get the mount that you get is this little uh, oh, let me get the blast out first. So you get first of all, you also get a toy, and the toy when you put a toy on, um, right here the aquatic shades, and then we you put your little mount on. You get the the, the mount the the mount got the shades on. You see? Yeah. You got to see the last one. That is a... And also, so 100% in the water. And does this as a, uh, a space bar. Oh, it has sunglasses on. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's, that's your, like, your, your first, like, 100%. Which I gave you enough, um... Enough crabs to do that. So you should be good. You should be good to go. Once you farm out all those crabs, you should you should have enough to uh, get that um the first bag. It it costs about like like probably fifty uh, crabs to get a bag. But your first I think under beginner's luck, your first crab is probably twenty crabs. I mean your first uh your first uh, your first bag is twenty crabs. But after that, it's ridiculous. It's a insane rate. It's it's it's, it's ridiculous. You gotta like farm these forever, especially if you're an engineer. You gotta um farm the shit out of this because you need to get the uh, fishing rod. Craft that, and I cannot craft that to this day. Alrighty. All right, all you, GGs. All right. Uh, good luck on your uh, farmings. Get into Dragonflight. Do your weeklies. I'm telling my you. Week. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got like a million gold per week. Okay. Um, uh, blacksmithing and the leatherworking. On Tuesdays, rich. Every Tuesday, you're rich. Lottery. They will buy your stuff as soon as you post it. Alright, and season four coming up. Also, you have um uh, do crafting because everyone has to buy new new gems. But all right, Derek. Uh, next next time I talk to you, I guess I talk to you. Uh, I guess. All right. 
GG's for the night. I'm gonna go to bed. Alrighty. Have a good night. You too. Let's see. Let's see what I made of my other druid. Ooh, hopefully made good. Let's see what we make. 28 hit. Pretty good for not farming at all. There goes all my primal fires. There's all my corium, all my corium soul. I think that is it for stream. I wonder if anyone I playing super late, so probably not. Oh, shut up, there. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I can pray to anyone. So we're just gonna have to it is time to raid. Hi. Uh who who the heck do I raid? Um Past while grandma's to bedtime, but we could raid her. Um, here I've actually been raided to this guy. Let's raid him. the wrong thing. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Where is raid channel? <laughs> okay. A raiding touchpad. Let's uh let's raid this guy. Hope he's doing some comfy content. I I have no idea what he does. I think he does some collecting some PvP. But uh say hi um have some have some fun with touchpad have a good night guys i like uh like if i follow follow if you like the stream thank you for everyone who subbed <laughs> everyone who followed thank you very much it's very much appreciated um have a good night